Three. What's going on? What's going on, Danny? What's going on, the facts guy? How do you think Billy can win? Um, to be honest, I don't know whether the fight's happening at the minute. Is the fight even happening? Yes, I hope you guys are well. Hope you guys are well. Hope you guys are well. Hope you guys are stay. Hope you guys are staying safe. I uh, hope everything's good in the hood. Um, let me just sort this out and then we'll get going. So, guys, according, apparently. Apparently, I've got a few. I've got, I've got a few guests coming on later, but I thought I'd come on. Apparently, Saunders Canelo fight it could be off. I've seen. Let me just read some of your comments. Let's go through this. Uh, hey, uh, fact guy, I hope you're well. Danny Vinlay, I hope you're well. The facts guy, uh, how do you think Billy can win? Uh, we'll talk about that in a bit. Um, Cole Cron, hey, I hope you're well. Brendan Jackson, I hope you salute. Yes, Naima, I hope you're well. Hi, Imran, how are you? The fast going. It's getting a bit hard at the minute because it's it's getting um getting tough, uh, it's getting tough. But I'm surviving. Uh, Richard Brown says hi, Imran. BJS dad says fights off. That's what I wanted to talk about. Yeah, apparently the fights off. Um, I don't know what's going on. It's 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 bizarre. I think it's ridiculous to be honest with you. I hope it doesn't. I hope it's not off. But let's see. Let's see what what plays out. I think it's. I think it's a bit of mind games. I think it's a bit of tactics. I just can't see him pulling out of this fight because of a a, a ring. Now, I don't know. They are quite stubborn and, and um, you know, we've seen with Fury that they want their way. So I I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully they, hopefully they don't pull out. But let's see. Let's see what happens. Okay. Um, it says here, Danny says, BJS wants to pull out. Well, it's looking like that. The minute fight off, the fight is definitely happening. Just selling the fight, possibly. El Baz says, the fight is off. Because Canelo is a bum and wants his own way. I won't go that far. Um, John Laz HD, the fight is off. The fight, the facts guy, do you believe that Eddie Hearn is playing it fair? Um, he's in a bit of a tricky situation, right? Because initially we got told, uh, we got we got told that there was a judge, a British judge in the contract, but then Eddie Hearn came out and said there was no British judge in the contract. So I don't know who's telling the truth right now. It's like it's like their word against theirs. Who's saying the truth right now? Is is the twenty four foot um, ring in the contract? If it is, then Billy Joel's got a right to be not not happy. If the twenty four foot ring is not in the contract, then you can. I, I know the standard ring size is from sixteen to twenty, so Canelo can pick what he wants. Uh, to be honest, it depends. What it all depends. What's in the contract? I don't know what's in the contract. Canelo Alvarez is a protected fighter. He's a sore loser. Canelo. So Canelo Alvarez is a fair protected fighter. He's a sore. Okay, I won't go saying that. He's earned that right, hasn't he, to get to that level? Then again, these travelers are stubborn. Yeah, we don't know. Let's see. Bradley Doherty, um, Duck. Row Rome says Duck. He's better not mention Canelo's name again. If the, you know what, if Billy Joe, if Billy Joe does. Uh, not fight. All I'm going to say is this: that a lot of the British public, a lot of the Br British public, will be against him. He obviously he'll have his hardcore fans that will be backing him no matter what. Um, but there'll be a lot of people that would turn off Billy Joe Saunders if he doesn't go ahead with this fight. Guys, everyone in the live stream, smash the like button. I'd appreciate if you smash the like button. Everybody in the live stream. Um, but yeah, let's see what Billy Joe does, man. Let's see what Billy Joe does. Uh, what you having after a story? I don't know, to be honest. I don't know. Uh, Canelo Alvarez is a protective fighter. So Murillo says, Billy Joe Saunders is a coward. Everyone's got... El Bass says, Bruce Lee said, the art of fighting is the art of moving. The art of moving is the art of not getting hit. Styles make fights. Billy is all wrong for Canelo. Fair enough. You're entitled to your opinion. Um... Naima, it's Sham. Hope this fight happens. I really want to see it. Yeah, I want to see it as well. I'm really looking forward to it. If it doesn't happen, I'd be left really upset, to be honest with you. If it doesn't go ahead and doesn't happen, it'd be kind of like a kick in the stomach, really. Um, it would be a kick in, a kick, kick in the teeth uh, if it doesn't happen. Hopefully it does happen. Uh, I personally think it will, if I'm honest. 
Uh, Callum Blazaretti says, Bruce Lee wasn't a boxer, mate. Yeah, he wasn't. Um, Adam KM says, this could be mind games from BJS. Ring size and everything is all usually agreed during negotiations. In my opinion, this is to sell the fight. Lol, we had the Chisora situation and that somehow magically got solved. Yeah, let's see, man. Let's see. It's, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a difficult situation right now. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Hopefully they can solve it because I really want to see this fight. Ergin Osman says the fight is is over. There will be no Canelo. The fight is over. There will be no Canelo Saunders. Let's see. I think I disagree. I think they will. BGS is finding an excuse to pull out. Mexico says. Well, to be honest, like I said, if it's in the contract, if it's if the twenty four foot ring is in the contract, then personally, I don't think he's looking to pull out. I think I think if it's not in the contract. And then it's it's obviously a standard ring size. Then you have to say that you have to you have to say it. Canelo being the A side of the fight, he gets to dictate what ring size it is. Remember, let me let's go look at some of the history of boxing. When Floyd Mayweather was the B side against Oscar De La Hoya, Oscar De La Hoya chose everything: the glove, the ring size, everything. Floyd wasn't able to choose anything. Floyd went in there, beat him, and after that was never the A side, uh, never the B side ever again, right? Um, when uh, Maidana fought Floyd Mayweather, Maidana couldn't even wear his own gloves. Think about it. He couldn't even wear his own gloves. And Floyd actually paid him. We all know this now. This is public knowledge. Floyd actually paid Maidana so then he doesn't wear his own gloves because that probably wasn't in the contract. If it was contractually agreed, then you have no really, uh, you know, you can't really do anything about it. But Floyd pay, paid um, Maidana, you know, so it's... Hopefully it gets solved. Hopefully it gets solved. Everyone in the live stream, smash the like button, please. Let's get this. Li let's get these likes up. Okay, so uh, the moment is was too big for him. Let's see, man. Let's see. I, I personally think the fight's still gonna happen, man. I don't think. I don't. I think we're gonna see the fight. Naima Sham says, if this fight don't happen, don't happen, that then I don't think BJS will get another big fight. No one will work with him. Yeah, I, I do agree. I think, like I said, I think a lot of people will turn away from him. I think. Eddie Hearn, I think all of those guys, I, I, I think they'll think that this guy's too difficult to deal with. He's too hard to work with, you know, uh, and they'll only work with him if they need if they if they need to. Uh, but, you know, I, I do think that I do think this is I, th I think this is a difficult situation for Eddie Hearn. He's going to have to they're going to have to solve it. They're going to have to look to solve it because it's a very, very difficult situation right now for, for Eddie Hearn um, because he's in a dilemma because Canelo's in his last fight. Um, He's in his last fight with Eddie Hearn. He's saying, listen, I want a 20-foot ring. Saunders is saying, I want a 22-foot ring. They're saying that you're not looking out for my interest, right? Canelo's there on his last fight with Eddie Hearn. Eddie Hearn's in a difficult spot right now. He's in a difficult place. I feel for Eddie Hearn. He's in a difficult place right now. If you're the best, get in there and fight. Wow, hang on. You're, you're going to KO Billy in three rounds. So what's the problem? Yeah, but you could say the same thing with Billy. Billy said that he'd fight him in a phone booth. So if he's confident that he beats Canelo, why don't he fight? If he is willing to fight Canelo in a phone booth, Elbaz, then he'd be willing to fight Canelo in a 20-foot ring, right? But all of a sudden, now the fight's getting closer. We're hearing other things from Billy Joe. So it works, it swings, it works both ways. The way I look at it, if it's in the contract, right, that there was a 20-foot ring, which we don't know, everyone keeps speculating on because... See, a lot of the Saunders fans, right, what I've seen, especially on Facebook and stuff, they keep going on like they've seen the contract and whatever Team Saunders is saying is gospel truth. We don't know that. See, me, I don't really listen to anyone because everyone's pushing their own agenda. Everybody's looking for looking out for their, their own interest. You know, Ken Saunders ain't looking out for Canelo's interest and Canelo ain't looking out for Saunders' interest, Right. So everyone's looking for their own, looking out for their own interest. So to believe somebody or believe one fighter over the other, I just think it's, it won't be a right thing to do because we don't know who's saying the truth right now, right? Um, so I, I personally think we've got to wait. And Eddie Hearn, like I said, Billy Joe Saunders said there was a one British judge in the contract prior. Now we got to hear when Eddie Hearn came out and spoke and he said there was nothing to do with a British judge in the contract. So... Who do we believe? Who are we supposed to believe? You know, um, so it says here, the UK fans are very unforgiving. I agree. Bradley Doherty says the fight's off and he has the right. I hope he don't fight. He is selling his belts. It's disgusting how two foot is going to cancel the fight 
if Canelo pound for pound should fight him in a 20 foot ring. Yeah, but you know what, Bradley? Here's the thing: 20 foot foot ring is not is is massive for a super middleweight. That that you don't get 24 foot rings for a super middleweight fight. You know, the standard ring size are 16 to 20 foot, really. That's the research that I've done. 16 to 20 foot. Now, 16 foot is probably a little too small. 18 foot is an uh, Olympic. And Canelo's agreed to a 20 foot ring. You know, this isn't about selling your belts. This is about you're not the A side in the fight. You don't dictate. If it's not written in the contract, you don't dictate to Canelo. I just told you, I just gave you examples. Maidana fought Mayweather without his favorite gloves. Who knows if Maidana fought Mayweather with his favorite gloves in that first fight? He might have won the fight. You know, he fought he fought Mayweather with like really padded, like padded gloves. You know, if he had fought with those gloves that he fights with, he might have hurt Mayweather. You see, when you're not the A side, you can't dictate to the cash cow or the guy that's in, in the position of power like Canelo. And if it's not in the contract, then it's even more so because then you're trying to dictate and get your way. So to be honest, it depends. It depends on the situation. It depends on 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 the situation. But I I, I personally think the fight will go ahead. Don't you worry about that. The fight's going to happen. Exactly a twenty foot ring and a twenty two foot ring is not much difference. BJS. So Tom Fonry. Okay, salute Imran. It's fight week. Uh, I think, oh, okay, well, oh, I'm missing all these I'm missing all these comments. There's a lot of people coming in. I'm hearing the fight is off. I'm not sure. Tom Saunders has made it clear the fight is off. Um, let's see. Canelo is the A side, so BJ should show up and get, in, get on with it. Tough decision. You want to control to beat Canelo. Yeah, listen, man, he's not the A side in this fight. Did you see Kel Brook video talking to Darren Gee saying he wants Khan fight in their talks now? You know what? I I, I want to talk about that. Uh, Kel Brook, I hope he's all right. That video looked a bit weird to me. I, I didn't understand. Uh, I, I, I haven't seen Kel Brook give an interview or talk for ages. And, and I saw that video. It was like, you know, I'm, I'm lo looking forward to Kel Brook come out and give um, an interview to one of the more mainstream channels and see what he's got to say because he's been very quiet. Uh, I think it's the skills, the ring shouldn't really matter. Yeah, it does matter. It, the ring size does matter. Of course it does to Canelo uh, and Billy Joe because Canelo wants a smaller ring. Billy Joe wants a bigger ring so he can outbox Canelo and, and use his feet. I get all of that. I get all of that. Salute Imran. Just we salute Imran. It's fight week. Yeah, it is fight week. It, it, I, I hope so. It doesn't look like it at the minute. Tom Fury Chan, Billy Joe, put up or shut up. Excuse after excuse to Saunders. If he doesn't fight Canelo this weekend, I'm done with him. Wow. He's not happy. He's not happy, Tom. He's not happy at all. Listen, I, it just all depends what's in the contract. It all depends what's in the contract, man. Uh, I want to see the fight. I want I want to see I want to see the fight. You know, I don't really care 24, 22 foot. I understand why Saunders would care. Uh, because he wants a bigger ring so he can do his thing, but at the end of the day, when you're not the A-side, when you're not the A-side, Floyd Mayweather, once upon a time, was not the A-side. He couldn't choose his gloves. Oscar De La Hoya choosed his gloves for him. He choosed his gloves. Imagine that. We're talking about Floyd Mayweather here. He couldn't choose his gloves, right, to fight Oscar De La Hoya. Imagine that. Floyd Mayweather. But he went in there. It was a close fight with Delahoya, but he won. And after that, Floyd was never the B-side in a fight ever again. So, you know, for me, he should go in there and and and, and fight. I don't think he should pull out. That would be disastrous. Exactly a 24 and 22 foot is not much difference. Okay, exactly. This is what I don't understand. Wants to fight him in a phone booth and complaining about a ring size. First, it's the judges and now it's the ring. What's next? Yeah, man, it's it's... There's a lot of there's a lot of um, there's a lot of excuses at the minute. I believe Canelo is going to win because he is just great. If the fight hopefully happens, yeah, I believe Canelo. Uh, I've, as you know, everyone knows my opinion about this. I think I, I think both teams should get something sorted ASAP, or else it will mess up for the fans. Listen, man. <laughs> I personally think here's the thing, right? Honestly, I think. I don't know whether Canelo is going to budge, but I, I think Canelo probably will. I think Canelo will probably say, give him 22 foot. Um, I don't, I, I don't personally, two foot, should a fight be cancelled because somebody wants a two foot extra? Like, just, I think Canelo, I think it's about principle for Canelo. Canelo feels, I'm the cash cow, I'm the star. 
Why should I bow down to him? Who is he? You know, Canelo feels like he's the star and he's earned the right to call the shots. If it's not in the contract, then he's right. He, if, if, if he's not doing anything that's not against the, the commission or not against the rules and stuff, then 24 is nothing wrong with that. He's agreed to 24. Now, if it's in the contract where Billy Joe said that they want 24 and that was in the contract, then I agree with Billy Joe. But if it's not in the contract... And Canelo's not breaking rules, which we know he's not, by asking for a 20-foot ring, right? And agreeing to a 20-foot ring. Because even an 18-foot ring, he, 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 could, he could demand that, right? But he's willing to say, you know, willing to fight in a 20-foot ring. I, I don't see what the issue is. I am Ran, just driving back from London to Southampton. Great listening to you as always. Thank you, Probe. I was just appreciate it. Nuni Emiliano says, honestly, BJS is coming off an as an entitled diva. He's acting, he's acting like he hasn't been in the business all his life. You know, it's, you know, yeah, it's true. It's true in a way. True. I can't wait to see Saunders getting smacked in the mouth as pro boxers. Uh, to be honest, I haven't really, I'm not, I don't really care who, who wins the fight. I just want to see a good fight. I just want to see a good, clean, fair fight. Um, to be honest with you, Mexico says exactly a 20 foot and 22 foot is not much different. BJS uh, wants things his way when he's the B side. It doesn't work that way in boxing. I agree. I agree. It depends. Here's the thing, Mexico. It depends if what's in the contract, right? We don't know what's in the contract, right? I don't know what's in the contract. You don't know what's in the contract. But Billy Joe said that there was a, a, a British judge in the contract. And apparently Eddie Earn came out and said there wasn't. So who's saying the truth? Who's lying? We just don't know. We don't know out here. We don't know who, who's saying what. We don't know who's saying the truth. We don't know. Um, okay, so uh, Michael. So Amma Iqbal says Canelo is the full package, period. Yeah, he is. I have to agree with that. Tom Sordens has just said the fight is off. Yes, I've seen that. Uh, we just spoke about that. BJS should be grateful he's getting the fight with Resume or Canelo. Shouldn't even fight him. So just get on with it and prove it. Yeah, yeah, he needs to prove, go in there and prove himself, man. But let's see, man. Let's see if this fight comes off. I'm getting nervous. I'm getting the... I, I think that there's mind games. Hopefully it's mind games. But everyone in the live stream, smash the like button. Smash that like button. Let's get more, more uh, viewers in this live stream. Smash that like button, guys. Everyone in the live stream. Okay, uh, Adam KM says, I smell mind games from Team Saunders. Yeah, you're possibly right. Uh, sign Cutter says, Sign Cutter, Sign Cutter says, Dude, I told you so. Saunders was going to pull out. I, I'm optimistic. I don't think Saunders is going to pull out, but we'll have to wait and see. Cilio's only notable win of VGGG beatdowns and scraped by a very, very raw Eubank Jr. Yeah, yeah, he's, his winner was against Andy Lee, Lemieux, and Eubank. Yeah, very close fight. Uh, Tarek. Uh, Darker says, I think Saunders are playing mind games. Very clever. They, maybe, they, maybe they're trying to get into Canelo's head. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, because you know what? When I saw Saunders' dad's interview, it looked like, it looked like they're, tr although they're saying they're pulling out the fight, I think they know what they're trying to do. I think it's the same thing with the Fury stuff. Uh, they're trying to get their way, which they may do. They may do. It might be in the end, if they get their way and Canelo doesn't call their bluff. And Can See, Canelo might be strong-minded and say, you know what? All right, if you don't want to fight, then it's off, you know, get somebody else in, you know, Canelo might have that mindset. I don't know because Vladimir Klitschko, like he, he, he bowed down to Fury and said, okay, you know, we'll let take the, take the uh, padding out, out of the ring or wherever uh, I'll fight him. Uh, but that, that affected Klitschko and, and Fury managed to do a number on him. I think Canelo is a completely uh, different fighter to Klitschko mentally. I think something like this would just make him mentally stronger and more determined. If I'm honest, um, just Suisse Ariola says, you think AJ Fury is really happening this year? You know what? I don't know, man. I don't know. We keep hearing, we keep hearing that it's happening. It's not happening. It's going to be announced this week. We've been hearing that for the last three months, man. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. I'm really frustrated. Herm promoted Smith, fielding the run, no dramas, traveling. Okay. Yeah. He did promote Smith and uh, fielding. You're right. I really hope this fight happens. Yeah, I really hope as well, Ahmed. Sonny Vasily, is this fight really off due to the size of the ring? It looks like it. That's what Saunders' his dad is saying, but I don't think so. I don't think this fight is going to be pulled off because of the size of the ring. 
Uh, I just think that that would be crazy. Imagine that, this, that the fight being pulled off because of the size of the ring. Come on. Uh, so it says, hopping off to upset Canelo. Um, so, be, be the border goal says, hopping off to upset, the, upset Canelo. Who's hopping off? BJS has leverage because he has something Canelo really wants that, that I highly doubt Billy will avoid this payday. Canelo will call Billy's bluff. Um, yeah, uh, Canelo does want something that Saunders wants. He wants that title. Canelo Alvarez wants to become a champion. Canelo Alvarez wants to be a champion. He wants to be the undisputed champion. So he may say, give him a 22-foot ring. You know, he may give it, he may say, give have a 22-foot ring. He may not care. Okay, it says here, Canelo might already have a replacement. Yeah, who knows? Uh, listen, man, let's stop. Be, let's be positive. Let's be positive. Let's not talk about a replacement. I really want to see this fight. I've been making so many videos about this fight. I don't want this fight to fall through, man. I don't want this fight to fall through. It'll be heartbreaking if, if, if this fight falls through. Like, we've all been waiting for this fight. We've all been waiting for Billy Joe Saunders to finally fight that guy that we wanted to, t that we thought would test him. It'd be heartbreaking if, if this fight doesn't happen, man. It, it would be. Honestly, as a boxing fan, I'd be like, I'm really looking forward to this fight. I'm really looking forward to it. Okay, it says here, Canelo might already have a replacement. No, let's not. Let's be positive. Uh, King Dale Clark, what's up, brother? I hope you're well. Um, oh, where's it gone? I keep, keep going past. Okay, so um, Big Bollock says... <laughs> I've 10 grand savings. It's going on Billy Joe at four to one. Don't be doing that. Don't be doing that. You're making me nervous saying things like that. 10 grand on Billy Joe. 10 grand. Wow. Come on. Don't be saying things like that. Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that if I, I, I if I, I was you. I'd, I'd withdraw that bet. Surely these things uh, of, of being discussed before they put the pen to paper. It seems a bit fishy to me. I'm sure Team Saunders would have agreed all of this at the beginning, wouldn't they or have left it uh, till fight, till the fight week. Richard, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I, I don't understand because Eddie Hent. So, so basically we know about the judges before, right? What they were saying about the judges. They were saying the judges, they were saying that the, there was a British judge in the contract or there was a there was a judge from Mexico, Britain and uh, all these uh, you know, neutral judges, right? But Eddie Hearn came out and said there wasn't in the contract. So I don't know who's saying the truth. Who's who's saying the truth? We don't we haven't seen the contract, Richard. We don't know what's got we don't know what's going on. Who do we believe? Canelo, Eddie Hearn, Saunders? Because everybody's looking out for their own interest. Everybody's looking for looking out for their own interests. Saunders ain't looking out for Canelo. Canelo ain't looking out for Saunders. They're all looking out for their, each other's interests. So I, I don't know who to believe, man. I just hope this fight goes ahead. So your viewers are going up. Looks like people are hyped. Yeah, yeah. It, people are hyped about this fight. I'm definitely going to be doing a live stream. Hopefully this fight does happen. I'll do a live watch along. Uh, Jake Street says most rings are 20 foot. Right, okay, so 20-foot, Canelo has offered Billy Joe, we know now, a 20-foot ring. But Billy Joe and his father, saying that they want 22-foot. Is Canelo going to turn around and say, have your 22-foot ring? Possibly. Chris Eubank Jr., are the bookies getting his, Chris Eubank Jr., are, are the bookies getting his refund? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they will if the fight falls through. Um Okay, so... Um, mort mortality fatal said bottom line is Canelo via ring post would generate the same fans as silly uh, he has bearing on the gate and beyond lucky to even be getting this payday you know what I won't I won't go that far I won't go that far he's a champion he's a legitimate champion uh, he's the WBO champion and, and remember as one of the uh, um, sub subscribers mentioned above um, that Canelo uh, Billy Joe's got something Canelo really wants Canelo wants to be the undisputed champion Canelo wants to be the undisputed champion. So Billy Joe has got something he wants. At least Saunders will give an excuse if he loses. I, I hope not. Honestly, I get the feeling BJS doesn't want the fight. Uh, the best, for, the, the fight the best. First Andrade, now Canelo. Yeah, it's not a good look, man. It's not a good look. You know, the Andrade fight didn't fell through because of, of Billy. 
Um, and it looks like this fight is now going to pretend. Or, I, I don't think this fight's going to fall through. I don't think. I think this fight will happen, Tom. I'm positive. I think Billy Joe and Canelo and his team will work it out. I think Billy Joe wants this fight. I think Billy Joe, you can tell he's in great shape. And he's looking good. I don't think he's going to want to pull out of this one. No chance. I just can't see it. I can't see it. I would be very disappointed and shocked if Billy Joe doesn't go ahead with this fight. Someone, someone's going to back away. Uh, guys, someone is going to back out. Someone is going to say, either Canelo's going to come out and say, give him the 22 foot, or either Billy Joe is going to say, I'll fight him in the 20 foot ring. So, no KP says Canelo lacks foot speed, but Billy, not the man that can utilize that advantage. Uh, if BJS believe in himself of the size, size of the ring is irrelevant. Yeah. Size of the ring is irrelevant. It is, it is relevant because obviously um, the bigger the ring, Billy Joe get, Billy Joe is looking to box and move. He's looking to come in there, box and move, Right. So it is relevant. It is definitely relevant to Billy Joe. Um, Canelo wants a smaller ring because Canelo likes to get on the inside and Canelo wants to hit him to the body. Uh, but Canelo's a very good boxer as well. Canelo's very hard to hit as well. Canelo's not easy to hit. You can't barely land that on that guy. You know, so Canelo's unbelievable as well. So, oh man, let's hope this fight doesn't fall through, man. Let's hope this fight doesn't fall through. Um are we going to ignore that they said, also said Canelo uses? Yeah. Oh, I, I saw that. I saw that. Um, I'm not going to get into that because we don't know that stuff. Uh, we don't know. We don't know. We don't know about all of that, to be honest with you. So I, I can't really I can't really say. Um, OK, so King Dale Clark said, I think it's a last ditch attempt to rattle Canelo. The fights found ahead of Saunders will miss out on a huge payday, even if he would get flattened. It's a big payday, um, King Dale Clark. It's a massive payday. And you just think that over the size of the ring, over the two foot, over two foot, he's talk Canelo's saying 20 foot and they want 22 foot. Over two foot, would you think about it? Put yourself in that position, King Dale Clark, right? Would you be willing to lose millions of pounds for two foot? And a chance of going in there against the pound for pound best to prove that you're the, be that you're the best in the world? Like... Come on. I, I, I just don't see it. I don't see why someone would, would, would miss out on that opportunity. I don't, but then I don't know. I don't know. Maybe Billy Joe is, 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 is firm on that. Guys, everyone in the live stream, smash the like button. Let's get those likes up. Smash the like button, guys. Everyone in the live stream. I'd, I'd appreciate if you all smash the like button. Okay, so no, no KP. I just don't trust any fight Canelo is in. Um, why, 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 why not? Why not? Every listen, man. Anyone that's a cash cow, you could say the same about Mayweather, right? You could say the same about any cash cow. You know, you could say the same about Joshua, right? I know he's a heavyweight, and most of the time his fights end up in knockouts. But you know, the cash cows usually, have, you know, have their say, have their way. I'm gonna try get in. I'm gonna get, try get some guests on now, guys. I'm gonna try get some guests on. Let's see if I can get some guests on. One second, guys. Invite. Okay, so I'm just going to try get some, see if I can get some um, guests on to, to give their, their views. This is really um, an interesting, interesting um, topic right now. And um, let's see if we can get some guests on to ask for their opinion. Okay, um, there we go. Let's see if we can get some. It's popping, guys. It is popping. So, what do you? What, let's keep answering the question. I'm just trying to get some guests on. Yeah. Okay. BJS. Okay. I see Canelo getting a close UD. A close UD. Fair enough. I, I, I think. I personally think Rob. I personally think that Canelo might stop him late. I think Billy Joe may tire later on. Um, but let's see. Let Let's see. Uh, Billy Joe's got to prove uh, everyone wrong because most people think Canelo's gonna Can Canelo's gonna win. Um, but let's see if Billy Joe can prove us wrong. Ergin Osman says BJS is far, far the better boxer than Canelo. I believe Canelo fights all are hand-picked. Come on. 
surely you, you don't think that again you were in the last live stream saying that Ke come on you surely don't think that canelo's canelo's a all right okay sure. how's it going oh you're right again you were in the last live stream saying that Ke come on you surely don't think that canelo's canelo hello hello can you can you hear me i can hear man i can not sure. how's it going oh you're right yeah we're again, going, you're in the last live stream saying that Ke come on have you got have you got um have you got, have you got yeah. it uh, you on uh, on loud on your end. All right, guys. So let's let's keep answering these questions. Let's keep going through it. Um, it's a four foot difference. It's a four foot. Robbie Robbie Turner says, "Fight off." Um, you in? I'm Amy? in. I can hear you loud and clear. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. There's a lot, there's a lot of people in the live stream right now, and there's it's all kicking off with all this Saunders Saunders yeah. stuff. They're saying they pulled out the fight. They're saying they're up, they're in the fight. Yeah, yeah. What do you make of it? I think they've been playing games since that Billy Joe got landed in the US. You know, whether it's the judges, whether yeah. it's the ring side that we've seen today, a lot of dispute over Eddie Earn and the contract. Um, interesting times in man that I've watched his dad's interview on IFL. He's adamant, yeah. isn't it? He? He's adamant, yeah. you know. Um, but you know what? So they'll come to a resolution, yes. Yeah, yeah. I think they will. But, but I'm a I can't I can't believe that before if it's in the con if it's in the contract that it was a 24 foot ring, then I don't think it is in the contract, though, Carl, no. because you know when they talked about the judges? You know when they spoke about the judges, right? Eddie N came out and said that, the, that, you know, the neutral judges, there was nothing like that in the contract. And you I know, personally don't think it's in the contract. Me, I think you tell me when they last used the 18-foot ring in a professional bow. I think... Tw no, but Canelo's saying off. that 20-foot. Canelo said he's willing to do a 20-foot ring now. But they want 22-foot. But 24, 24 foot was what Saunders and uh, his yeah. dad wanted. That that's unheard of for a super middleweight fight. I don't I don't think twenty four foot is massive for a super middleweight fight. You know why though, man? Don't you? Because he wants to be on his toes. It's clear why, Billy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. But here's the thing. Here's the thing, Carl. Right? I get, I get, I get what you're pointing. Of course, he wants a bigger ring because he wants to be on his toes and moving. But. When Floyd Mayweather fought Oscar De La Hoya, Floyd said he was the B-side in the fight. He couldn't even choose his own gloves. He couldn't choose anything, the ring side, the gloves, anything. And that's Floyd Mayweather. So, Billy Joe's a massive B-side in this fight. Don't you draw parallels with uh, Fiori at, uh, in Dusseldorf? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they, they got their way, though. The, the thing yeah. is, they got, their, they got their way. Fury got... Uh, Carl, Fury got his way. Now... Yeah. Is Canelo going to be one where he says, all right, I don't need you. Back you go home. Or is Canelo going to say, give him the two foot, give him 22 foot. What do you think Canelo's going to do? I think he'll give him the two foot. Unless, unless they've got somebody lined up to step in. That's a possibility. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If you're paying to go to the at t Arena to watch Canelo versus Billy Joe, and all of a sudden, let's throw a name in there. John Ryder jumps in the ring with him. Yeah, yeah. You're not going to be happy, are you? No, no, you're not. But are no. those fans, are those fans, uh, Carl? Are those fans there for Saunders anyway? No, but they're there. <laughs> but, but they're there because yeah. of like, what might happen. Yeah, you know, and, and you talk about levels, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, yeah. You, know, you could argue this is you know the biggest test since Mayweather in terms of yeah. fighter, a fighter who's got the technical ability of Billy Joe. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. don't think he'll win. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, let's admit it, everybody. There's still that little bit of that where if Billy Joe turns up, yeah, 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 you never know. Where previous fights, there's never been a chance. I mean, Callum Smith was disappointing. Do you, I thought Callum Smith had a chance, though. I, I'll be honest I, with you. I, with his size, his reach, and his height, yeah. I didn't. I didn't think. Go, I actually thought that this guy could be dangerous. When I looked at the size difference. You couldn't think that Callum Smith was going to get boxed his head off like that or get dominated like that. Yeah. I thought he had a chance. He should, he should have had a chance, shouldn't he? With the reach. All right, it looks like there's some technical issues. Carl's, Carl's disappeared. But yeah, let's ask let's, some of your... Parwes Khan says two foot is a lot. And it's not, it's not about the money. It's about legacy. 
Good point. Very good point. Very good point. I keep dropping out him, man. Sorry about it. It's all going off. Oh, it's all right. No worries. So, so yeah, where, where I was is that Smith should have gave Canelo a lot more of a difficult night, shouldn't have. He should have popped. He should have jumped yeah, yeah. off. You know. Um, but maybe how so good Canelo is. He got on the inside of him up. So... It looks like Carl's having some technical technical issues. Steph Koch says, Koch says the fight is off. Um, PG says, let's face it, Saunders wasn't getting any decision over there. Anyway, so rings irrelevant, <laughs> lol. Yeah, good point. Um, it's going to be difficult for him to get a decision for sure. Uh, BDL says, you've seen it as well. Robbie there. Uh they're talking like the fight is happening. We have just seen the video of fights off. Yeah, I don't think the fight's off. I think I think they're they're trying to get their way personally. Um, do you agree, Carl? Do you think the fight the fight's off, or do you think they're just trying to get their way? I think it'll go, and I think they're just slim for position, aren't they? I think I think there'll be a bit of give and take, and the fight will go ahead. I think, yeah, that's my view. Um, yeah. As long as it's sorted by, if it's not sorted by close play tomorrow, then we've got a problem. Yeah, I'd agree. I'd agree. I'd, ag I'd agree. But you know what? You know what? I saw the video with his dad. I don't know whether you've seen it on IFL. If you've seen it or not. Yeah. Um, it didn't look. It didn't look like. A, it didn't look like some team that is pulling out. It looked like more. You know, where if they don't get that, you know, they're kind of threatening to to pull out. I know we're saying the fight's off. Uh, but I, I don't think I don't I think they'll come to a resolution. Look, they did with Chisora, right? He got his phone call from his mum. And... Yeah, yeah. What have you got Billy Joe's mum's number? You maybe get her on the phone in that sort of yeah. Um yeah. I, I, it's too big a fight not to happen. You know, uh, I mean think about the money that Billy Joe's invested in bringing his team over. Um I think it goes ahead. I think they'll find a resolution. Um, I, hope, I, I hope so. How do you think it goes in, man? Uh, personally, I think um, I, I think he'll do well for a first couple of rounds, right? I think he'll I think he'll have success, maybe first couple of three rounds, uh, and then I think, and th and then I think that um, I think Canelo will start wearing him down, hitting him hard to the body. Uh, where, where once he's, I think later on he'll start to fatigue. And then he'll become more like a sitting, like a more sitting target. And then Canelo will start teeing off. And I, I, can, I can see a late stoppage, personally. Just, just one comment in the side, in round from the kill three R beast. I think it says Billy yeah. Joe is scared to fight Canelo. Never, 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 never. Yeah, I, I don't think I don't think anyone's scared at that kind of level. I don't think he's scared to fight Canelo. Um, I just, I just don't think it's a good look, uh, Carl, because, you know, the, look what happened in the Android fight. If this fight, he does pull out of this fight, if he does pull out and because of the ring size, then I think the l vast majority of the British fans, I, I think, will, personally, I think, will turn against him. I think the, very, the, very, think prin the very principle of the travellers, though, are the travelling men, you know? Yeah, they are, they are. They'll draw that line in the sand. They, they, always, they already feel like they've given some mileage in terms of the judges so they might feel that they're taking the mick a little bit now um, yeah. for them American fans that means um, taking the P a little bit yeah. um, so they, they may fly home they may you know I, I wouldn't bet the bottom dollar that it, it, there's not many empty threats in man is there you know they're very principled them people yeah, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd agree, but I just think I just think it's too big a fight. I think it's too big a fight for them to. Well, it'll never get pulled out again, will it? Oh no, no, Canelo, get Think about it. Think about it, Carl. Right? Canelo don't need Canelo. Canelo don't need. Um, he doesn't need Saunders, does he? He doesn't. No. He could fight. He, he's. He doesn't need him. He, the only thing he wants is his belt. He wants that WBO belt. But with the kind of with the kind of uh, power that Canelo's got in boxing, who's to say that if Billy Joe doesn't fight doesn't fight um, solid opponents, that the WBO don't strip him? Yeah, yeah. Right? They could strip him as well because at the end of the day, everyone wants Canelo to represent them. Everybody wants Canelo to hold their belt. So if Billy Joe doesn't go ahead with this fight, there's a there's a great there's a great chance that that. He may possibly even get. He may even possibly get stripped. So uh, 
uh, of down the road, not now, not straight after the fight, but maybe down the road if, if the WBO don't think he's fighting yeah, good yeah, in that position. As much, as much as we talk about Billy Joe reputation be on the line, Canelo as well. Do you remember Canelo's arguing the toss over a couple of feet as well? So if you want to flip it, yeah. When you talk about Canelo being the you know the the, the goat and etc., yeah. then just jump in the ring with him then. You know. Yeah, jump yeah, the yeah. Give him yeah. 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 He reckons he's going to stop him anyway. He reckons it's not going to the judges anyway. What well, if that's the case? Yeah, yeah. To be fair, yeah, 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 yeah. He does. Yeah, he does feel that way. He feels that he'll he'll stop. He'll feel that he'll stop. Um, he did say that. I don't think he's going to go. He even said that in an interview. He said, I don't think he's going to go to the judges. That's fair. Well, then jump. It doesn't matter about ring size then to some effect, does it? Does it yeah, does it? I, I agree with you to that extent. When you're as great as Canelo, right? Like To be honest, whether it's a 24-foot ring or whether it's a 22-foot ring, I think we all think that he's going to win the fight, right? We all favour him to beat Can uh, Saunders. So why not... Just put all the excuses to one side because there's always going to be, oh, he dictates this, dictates that, he does this. Just put all of those to one side and just go in there because we all, we not, let's be honest, we all think Billy Canelo's going to win the fight regardless yeah. whether it's 22 for 24, right? Yeah. yeah. So why don't you just put it to one side? It will tarnish Canelo's um, legacy because there'll always be that little, little seed of that if, if this fight doesn't happen. He can go on and beat whoever he wants to beat him, man. It, but it'll always be the question, what would have Billy Joe done? You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. That little scene of that. Raymond, yeah, how yeah. are you? Right. Yeah. How are we doing? Right. How's it going, Ray? You are right? Not too bad, thanks. Yeah, I agree with you there. I I do agree with you there. Um, Carl, what, what do you make of it, Ray? What do you make of all this situation? Apparently, Saunders' team saying that they're pulling out of the fight. Yeah, yeah. I think it's... Um, I pretty much think that the fight will still go on. Yeah. I think Billy Joe's putting up main games. I know comparisons were made, made with Fury and stuff um, w when he was looking at the the sponginess in the ring. Look, I think it gives away his game plan wanting a bigger ring, but Billy Joe should just go ahead and, and fight him when whatever size ring they just put in there. He's come this far. Uh, and, but the fight for me will still go ahead. Right. Um, I mean, just that, in, sorry, man. Just in the yeah. chat bar, does anyone think Billy Joe beats Canelo? Does, is the only body out there who thinks no, he can say Carl, 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 Billy Carl, Joe? Straight with you. He could fight him in the Atlantic Ocean with all that space there. It wouldn't make a difference. He's not going to outpoint Canelo. And, and not 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 because of the judges, but legitimately Canelo will beat him. Not not because of the judges or everyone else saying, "Oh, you're not winning because the judges are your favourite." Yeah, you're getting some responses here, lad. You're getting some yeses, look. What? Who? Who's saying it? I Mark think he can beat him. Mark I think he can beat him. Zero percent chance Billy beat Canelo. And no, 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 it says yes, he can. Yeah, I'm, I, I, I'm, he said miracles can happen. Yeah, miracle. All the, no, all the... He doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't beat Canelo for me. Not yeah, for me. I, 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 I can't see that either. Guys, someone, someone's got the microphone on. It keeps. Um, have you got the? Have you got the it, like, can hear, can hear two sounds. No. No. I think, yeah. yours, Carl? I think, yeah. I think, Carl, is it you echoing? Shouldn't be. Don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but I don't anyway, know. I can't hear anyway, man. Can you, okay. man? I can't hear that, Carl. Right, okay. Anyway, uh, let's go through some of these. Um, so Callum says, Callum says, um, people are forgetting that Billy Joe is a world champion. He needs to be treated like one. He's already gone to his backyard with no English clubbers or English fans. He deserves it. What do you what do you make of that? I agree. I think he has been slightly disrespected since going over to the States. He's a world champion. He's got a belt. Yeah. So he's only got some respect. You know, how much Eddie is involved in terms of the contracts, we'll never know. We'll never know what's in the contracts. But he's not going over there to lie, lie down, is he? He's, he's an active fighter. So, yeah, give him the respect he deserves. I think he feels disrespect, 
disrespected him, man, and that's a dangerous fighter. Yeah. Um, uh, well, let's see. Let, let's, let's see what some of these things are saying. Uh, Richard says. BJ has not turned up to face uh, face off with Canelo. Canelo there on his own, uh, on behind the gloves panel just now. It's not looking good. We have not turned up. To face -off. Was I thought the press conference was Thursday? No, no, today. The face -off oh, face -off today. Face. Right. Okay. I, 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 I think it's mind games. There's no way we're not turning away. The play. It's not can't see it. I can't see it. What do you think, Ray? Do you see him turning down the fight? Ray, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. No, no, I can't. I can't hear you, no. Hello? No, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. So, guys, I'm just going to go through some of these comments. One second. Um, I just heard BJS calling it off. Uh, possibly. I, I hope not. 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 Yeah. I think there's some gremlins in the system tonight. Yeah, yeah, there is. Yeah, there is. So, it says to me... Canelo Alvarez is going to be under and the reports say that he wants to go to the United States. You know, I heard he's 175. He wants to go back to the world division. What do you make of the Yeah, I think 175 is a very dangerous division for Canelo. I think it's a little bit of a step too far. Um, it'll get found out eventually at that weight for me. Um, yeah, yeah. That's a little weight. That's, that's, that's questionable. Um, so I think Super Middle will stay. I don't think there's any, any much to get back up to light ever. I don't know about. Oh, it, I think there's some issue from your end. I think your your internet is it's not. I can't hear you properly. Okay, one minute. All right, Ray. So yeah, what do you make of this comment here? Can you hear me? Oh no, I can't hear you still. I think you need to you need to go on your iPhone microphone. Your iPhone microphone. Yeah, I can't. I can't hear you. Um, okay, so yeah, Canelo Alvarez is going to undisputed at one sixty eight, but he can't be. If he can't be, if the sort, if the, if the, he can't be undisputed. If the, you know, the Billy Joe Saunders fight doesn't come off, he needs the Billy Joe Saunders fight to happen. Um, right. Okay. Right, is that any better, Ray? Right? Yeah, yeah, that's clear now, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. Canelo Alvarez is going to be undisputed at 168. And the reports are 175. Do you, so you, what were you saying about him 175 being dangerous for him? Yeah, I think it's a very dangerous um, division. Um, I, I don't think it'll be in any rush to get back up to light ever. I think super middles will stay. I think getting back that, boiling back down to middleweight will be a challenge. Yeah. Especially if he starts eating that Mexican beef again, allegedly. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think I think super middle is where he'll dominate for some time. That light ever's got a lot of lot of talent as we've seen over the last few weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I don't know. Oh, who do you think is. beats him at one seven five? Who do you think beats him? I, I think uh, let's start with Bivol. I I I I think he'll beat Bivol, to be honest with you. Bivol, I, I, I know we've had this debate in yeah, yeah. let's go there again. Yeah, yeah. Bivol had the unbreak on at the weekend. Um, and he loves to sit in the pocket and trade, and he's yeah. just, it's just, it's just generally the bigger man. So um, I'd have a virtual coffee on it with you that says Bibble does him. I think Bibble, I think Bibble actually stop him. Do you reckon? Yeah, oh, Canelo. Yep, it will stop him. You heard it here I, first, man. You heard it here first. I, I, I definitely take that bet. I definitely take that bet. That I, 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 I think Canelo. Personally, I would favour Canelo against all the light heavyweights as well. Uh, right. I'm not saying he definitely wins. I think Baterbia for me would be a fight that he could lose, but I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put any big money on either way. I would, I, 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 I would be very confident he beats Bivol. What but... I would say is Bivol's <laughs> going to get better 
Right, yeah. He's going to get awesome. better. Is Canelo going to get any better? So the, the comments in this MMA fighter in the side, I mean what I say. Um, you know, he fought Craig Richards at the weekend, but, he, you know, he didn't even get out of first gear. So, and he's been very inactive over the last couple of years. So, I know... Yeah. Um, oh, I know styles make fights. Put Craig Richards in there with Canelo. What happens? That, you, that's hardly a debate, though, is it? Canelo just walks debate. straight through him. Yeah, but that's what, what I'm saying. So, but we we can only Canelo's, go on what he's done. What's the, the thing is, the thing is, though, Imran. The thing is, though, Imran. Styles make fights. Oh yeah, of course. Bibble hasn't, of course. hasn't got that same style that that Canelo has. I personally what? think Bivol put on uh, almost nearly a. a, a masterclass on against Richards. He never gave him, considering how close he was, the success Richards has was pretty much minimal. Yeah, he caught him with a few right hands, but how many flurries did Bivol catch Richards with? But being in mind, Ray, he's been out of the ring for how long? So how much better Just, is About 18 months or so. He was in complete control, in my opinion. I thought the one by So Sorry? Canelo's been active, hasn't he? So, yeah, you know, Canelo's been very active. What's Bibble, very active. What's Bibble going to be like when he's active? Well, what I said what to Imran last time he had his on was that it all comes down to the weight. If it's at 175 pounds, Bibble will win that fight all day long. Yeah, see, see, but Carlos, if it goes down to super middleweight, then that's where, that's when Canelo's got that chance because I don't think Bibble can drop that weight and still function as he does. But for me, the best light heavyweight for Turviev, he beats anyone, even Canelo stepping up. And then for me, it's it's Bivol. Bivol's yeah. just quality. I've just seen Adam's comment in the side regarding Chris Eubank Jr. putting his bet yeah. online. Adam, don't talk about Eubank Jr. You know, you, you can't talk about him in the same sentence as Billy Joe or Canelo. No, he's 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 um he's not world he's not world class for me. He's still got too much to prove. Uh, Chris Eubank Jr. And, and and as we know, he comes unstuck against a certain style. Anyone with a jab and footwork, he becomes unstuck. Yeah, his performance against Morrison, like to be honest with you, I wasn't, you know, on the on the card on the weekend. Yeah, I was actually, I wasn't impressed. I wasn't impressed with any of those undercard fights. Like you, I thought Eubank was poor. I, I didn't. Were you not impressed with Katie Taylor? Hey, no, no, that fight was great. Taylor and uh, and Jonas, both Jonas. of them were great. Both yeah. both those girls were great. To be fair, and obviously the main event was what it was. It was a, it was a decent fight, but. Morrison Eubank wasn't great. Richards Bivol was a terrible. It wasn't a great watch, and I think I wasn't impressed by Bivol's performance. To be honest, I'm expecting a lot more in that fight. I, I know you. Uh, uh, yeah, I suppose it depends on his style. Me, I, I I prefer watching boxers to watching sort of like your brawlers and your your sluggers. So, so for me, somebody watching like Bivol, I, I see it as like watching an, an artist do their work. But um, I thought he got hit a lot as well. I thought he got hit with it. He got hit by a lot of shots in that fight. He, 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 he did. Richard, Richard performed out his skin. Richard performed out of his did he, skin. Did he ever look in trouble though? No. no but again, we're talking about a guy that's domestic level here. We're, we're not talking, talking about, about now the ring. Callum, guy, Callum Johnson was domestic he's level he's when he fought the Turbia. I don't think Richards would beat Richards. Don't beat even Callum. Callum Johnson would would not Richards out, in my opinion. Yeah. So yeah. But I, think, Callum I think Johnson Callum Johnson. I was telling Ray. I think Callum Johnson could beat Bivol. Nah. I, I oh my days! I think he could. I think he could beat him. I do. I think he's got power. He's got serious power. He put down Baterbiev. He almost took Baterbiev out. Think about yeah, it. Yeah, I, 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 I mean, mean he, sorry, Ray, go on. No, I, I was just about to say when Callum Johnson fought Baterbiev, he was British level. Yeah, true. Who he was, was British level? Callum Johnson. Yeah, yeah, we, he, he had yeah, a really yeah, he was. He was a big British that. Commonwealth chance. He just yeah. beat, come off the back, beat, beating Bullioni. Same one yeah. in the yard, really. He fought loads of European journeymen and gatekeepers, but he really was a British level fighter when he fought Kovalev. And yeah. they had similar they had similar successes, but the same failings against these top, who top, had top the... elite uh, sorry, Russian sorry, light heavyweights. Had... So, so my point is really, you know, at the end of the day, they got close, but they didn't get close enough. But it's it's not... class at the end of the day, and the class is evident in the ring. It's the little things that these guys do. I'll tell Just you because what, the British man. fighters having a lot more of success than we thought doesn't mean the, the the quality opposition is not as good as what we thought. It wasn't like it was a close fight. 
I know some two of the judges scored it close, but it really it wasn't it wasn't as close. Yeah, I, I'm not saying the fight was close. I wasn't expecting it to be close. But I yeah. expected more from Bivo. We can't look at that performance. Well, me, me, me and you both said Bivo, Bivo will walk through and stop him early. Yeah, yeah. We both said that. But, it, it, you know, on, on, on the show on Thursday. But it, it, didn't, it didn't happen. It he didn't happen. Like, it, wasn't, it, wasn't a good, it wasn't a good performance. Come on. I thought it was a good performance. I, 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 I would... I, I've said it on Facebook and I see it on live on my chest. Yeah, I, I think it was a very good performance. Hey man, he wanted he wanted the rounds. If he put his foot down and come out of the. He could have got him out of there. Of course he would. Huh. I've just I seen somebody saying. Any fight goes in the ring thinking I want rounds. Like, it's too dangerous. Yeah, you can get well, you can it, But you banked it against Morrison. He could have took him out round two. I, I, I don't think he did. I don't think he did, though. I don't think he did. Oh, I think that's on him, man. He was on the ropes. He had him stopped on the ropes. And he, and he, he, and he Bivol, Bivol could have got him yeah, out but there. He always, um, he's always done that in the past as well. I've seen you. No, back no, like no, he, past. no, no. I've seen you back do things like that in the past. You, no. I've seen you back do think, that in the past. Like, you, you bang, weird. You bang, you usually rushes in. He does rush yeah. in. He loves to finish people. I think this time round, you could see. If you could listen in the corner to Roy Jones, you could hear Roy Jones shout. And I think he, he deliberately took steps back. Roy Jones even said afterwards, we wanted to get rounds in the bank. We know he's dangerous because you don't play boxing, but we wanted Chris to get a solid 10, 12 rounds in the bank. Yeah. Adam, uh, Kim, Kim just has had a good point about Craig Richards going on to fight mm -hmm. Pascal and Baru Jack. I would agree. I would agree. I would, I would like to see him still try and do the best he can domestically. There's still a few names for him to test himself with, but that it, you know, if he wants to um, go down that path, no, I worry for him. I worry for him. Can I tell you why I worry for him? And, and, and Ray will know. I, I like to go out on a limb with some of my comments. So here we go. This one's for you, in man. I've got a feeling that Richard looked good on Saturday night because Bibble had a night off almost and stayed in second gear. That's my. Con I don't think this is, is anywhere above European level, Max. Well, you'll, uh, you, you'll soon find not sharp find out um, against these oppositions where there's a good possibility of him getting you know because I don't I don't think he's in the top three light heavyweights in this country. No way, no. I think he gets beat by Johnson. I think he gets beat by Yard. I think he gets beat by. Um, I think Lyndon beat. Arthur beats him, and then uh, Watsi beats him. Yeah, yeah. I think there's four. I think there's I think there's four guys out there that probably that probably. Yeah. Hey, do any of them beat Bibble? Do any of what those guys? No, nah, no, no. I wouldn't say. I wouldn't say. No, no, no. I would nah. say out of the best chance out of them all is probably Callum Johnson because he's still power. think what he's got a lot to learn. Uh, learn. He's a good fighter, he's got a lot but, to you learn. Know Callum Johnson, yeah, he's. He's a huge light heavyweight. He's a yeah, huge yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, I, seen he's, him, he's, he's, I seen him in a t-shirt, like, <coughs> and this guy, this guy, look, he must be, he must be like at least two hundred and ten. Like, must be walking around at two hundred and ten pounds. He's massive. He's I, I think huge. probably even more. Than, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah he's, he's, huge. he's huge. Yeah, and he's not even that tall. He's like what six feet, six one, but he's just a big, yeah. big dude, a big muscular yeah. guy. Um, yeah. I, I I like I think I think he beats all of the other I think he could beat all of the other uh, British light heavyweights. By the way, I think he, he's mm -hmm. definitely a problem. Mm -hmm. And just to answer Adam's question aside, Kolarev spent for me. He's asking, do any Brits beat Kolarev? Um, um, Kovalev, Kov 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Probably Johnson yeah, yeah. will beat him. Yeah, yeah. too powerful. I, I think he's spent. To be fair, yeah. you know what Kovalev did well against Canelo though. I, I know, I know. Yeah, he, I, I thought, I thought he was winning that fight. With yeah, he was, he was, he was. He just yeah. got, he got kind of got knackered. Really, he got, he got tired, and he had a hard fight with Yard, didn't he? Yeah, back to back camp. Um, there were certain things Canelo was doing in that fight, which was probably yeah, yeah. he wasn't busy Training. enough. But he, yeah, he was doing things that were draining him, and then he just caught him, caught him with that shot, and that was it. But one thing I will agree with you, I know I, sometimes I come across as a Canelo, uh, uh, Canelo fanboy. Yeah, you but do, yeah. Kovalev, Kovalev, I love Canelo as well. I love Canelo as well. Kovalev, in his prime, would have beat Canelo hands down. Hands down. I think we can agree with that, right? Yeah, I would agree. Yeah. Kovalev, in his prime, the one that fought... He wouldn't have gone nowhere near him, though, would he? He wouldn't have gone nowhere near him, would he? You know, he wouldn't have. And I actually think Kovalev beat Ward. I think he won that first fight. Against I did, Ward. yeah. I did. Yeah, I thought he won I that first fight. I thought, I thought uh, Ward did. 
No, I thought no, he was a couple of no, no. Not the second, but the first. Yeah, the no, first. The second one. The second one. I think Kovalev was. I and mean, when Kovalev fought Ward, I think he was kind of sliding onto the other side. Even the first time, he was going mm. like. His, there were stories coming out about his lifestyle and the way he was living. Yeah, he's, he's, he's an alcoholic, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. So there were stories coming out about him. So to be honest yeah. with you, I think Kovalev um, probably didn't get to fight the best competition. The fight with Stevenson didn't happen, did it? Yeah, it's on Stevenson. I'll one, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you one fight that's going under the radar this week, weekend. That's Liam, um, Liam, Liam Smith. Liam Smith. Liam yeah. Smith? He's out in Russia. He's in Russia. Oh yeah, I heard I heard about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's yeah. what's his who's he who's he fighting again? <coughs> I think it's Kublomarov or something like that. I'll let you him. pronounce his name, right? Yeah, no, I knew I knew you would give me the difficult one, but um it's it, it's a big good fight. Look, Liam Smith, sir. Um in my opinion, he's underrated. Very underrated fighter, very good fighter, very good fighter. Yeah, yeah, fighter. He's got a great, if he was Mexican, if he was Mexican, everybody would be raving about him. Yeah, underrated yeah. man. He's underrated. He doesn't get. He does. He's not got the backing from the promoters. He hasn't and got the backing. And he's avoided. I might add. Yeah. Yeah, like he's fought Canelo. Like that was that he was never going to win that. And against Maguire, like again, he fought on a Golden Boy show. Uh, and Maguire's a, again, Maguire's. There's no shame in that. Maguire's a, a very good fighter. You know, um, mm. losing to Maguire and Canelo's hardly any shame in that. But I would love to see, I would love to see, uh, I know everyone's talking about Kel Brook and Eubank. Uh, you know what? You know what's crazy? Eubank, uh, Kale Salon mentioned Kel Brook. And guess what? He even mentioned Amir Khan to fight Chris Eubank. I was like, man, he's, he's a 147 fighter. You, you, you leave those pensioners like, alone, man. They're, they're gone. Absolutely they're, embarrassing. They're just... Embarrassing. Walk, even walk. Kel Brook's embarrassing. Kel Brook's bigger than Khan, so he can definitely move up. And But... In, like he's way past it. You just seen him get knocked out by Crawford in a couple yeah. of rounds. And it wasn't and even a fight. Enough. That was a nothing shot from Crawford, wasn't it? What was it? it was a, what was it? A hook jab? What was it? A jab? Would any, oh, would any top player that. get knocked out by that? Any top, yeah. any top welterweight get knocked out to that shot? No, no, no. Look, oh, it was in, even. Even Khan, who's known not to have a great chin, look at the punishment he took against Crawford. It was a lot more than what Brooke took. So how are you talking about what he... How are we talking about him fighting a middleweight? Yeah, I know Bubank ain't Crawford, but... Are we, even, are we even interested in the Brook versus Khan fight now? Are we even no. interested? No, no, no. That's gone. You wouldn't, you wouldn't be? No, I don't no, think no, be, no. You can't tell me, Imran, I, that that, that, fa that fight imagine, makes spectacle. any sort of sense now. Can you imagine it? Whoever lands first, the other's going. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, you know, one of my friends actually made a um, joke about it. He said it could be a double KO. Yeah, yeah, it could. Yeah, it could be a double yeah. KO. Yeah. Um. Uh. But it's yeah, I, to be honest, I'd still watch it. I don't think any of us wouldn't watch it. We'll all watch it, and it still gain some. Pub, uh, it'll get. Well, it somebody, some somebody said in your chat, in man, that that uh, Brooke Khan would still make huge money, but I would have to disagree. Uh, it's it's it, it wouldn't be it, on, it wouldn't it wouldn't headline a bill. You don't it wouldn't think it be a cool main event? You don't think. No, no. I think it would. No, not now, not now. No chance. What do you think about that, Carl? Ray saying that a Khan Brook wouldn't even headline a bill. Oh, I think it would headline a bill. Yeah, um, yeah. No, I, 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 no, I don't. I, yeah, you're wrong there, Ray. Um, I think Eddie Hearn, I think Eddie Hearn, if it was Eddie Hearn putting it on, I think we massively criticised for, for ha having that headline in the bill. Who I, I, I think, think, I think. Who's going to go to a trailer or someone like that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, I, was I, having I, some I don't think it would. Eh? Technical difficulties. Um, but yeah, I, I think it would. That. I, I, I think it would. I think it, I think it would. I think it would still generate quite a bit of interest. Especially, it might it may happen in like Saudi Arabia and and you know where like Amir fought Billy Dib in Saudi Arabia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Middle he East may, he may take it there. They were even talking mm. about him fighting Kel Brook in in Pakistan in front of like hundred thousand people. But I don't think Brook's gonna want to fancy fighting Khan in Pakistan in front of hundred thousand. But he may not the have no choice. There. The money's yeah. there. Yeah, that's it. Because uh, they're not fighting for what are they fighting for now? Money, right? It's yeah, not, yeah. They're not fighting for yeah, anything. That's it. They've achieved everything that they want to do. Yeah, they're not. They're not. There's not fighting to win a world title or anything. It's not. It's. Mm -hmm. It's not. Um. 
A uh, Connor Ben, what do you make of the Connor Ben continuing to call Amir Khan out? That's Peter, Tony Sims. Uh, Tony Sims was uh, almost acting like Amir Khan's manager, saying that I want to see, uh, I want to see. Khan still got a few big paydays in him. It literally was saying that because <laughs> he's trying to want the fight. I'm like, I'm like, this guy's desperate for that fight, isn't he? Uh, and then the only thing I would say, like, Imran, about Connor Ben is it's, yeah. it's funny how he's not calling out David Avinesian. Yeah, because it's dangerous, isn't it? Uh -huh. When he starts calling out David Amnesia, and I start saying, "Fair enough," you know. Well, I was I was on I was on WhatsApp to Carl Greaves last night, but I won't go any further. <laughs> okay, Neil Joplin show. Uh, is that what we're doing now? I'll, I'll save that for Thursday night in Ran show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, but in terms of like, in in terms of David Avenesian, I'd like to see him fight David Avenesian. I think that's a good Quality fight. Part, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a very a dangerous fight. Fight. fight for him. Yeah, I don't. I don't really. Want, I don't personally. I wouldn't want to see, listen. I wouldn't want to see Amir. Like everyone knows that I'm a massive Amir Khan. I don't want to see him fight Conor Ben and potentially get beat by a guy that I know. Amir. Like you may disagree, but me for me, Amir in his prime would have played with Conor Ben. Of course he would have done. Of course he would have done. As far as I'm yeah. concerned. So I don't really want to see him get knocked out or get stopped by a kid that. I, yeah. I just no. I don't. I don't. Wouldn't like to see that. You I wouldn't, wouldn't mind. Be, you wouldn't be able to lace Amir Khan's boots. No, when Amir Khan was in his prime. No, 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 no. My, like, think about it. I was having a debate with someone. Like, someone was have, saying that Khan scared of Ben. I was like, imagine beating a prime Maidana, but being scared of Conor Ben. Yeah, true. <laughs> think I about it. About imagine myself. beating a prime Maidana. There is always a possibility that not that Conor Ben's being inflated by that last result. We don't. Yeah, quite yeah, know yeah. How yeah, exactly. How yeah. good it is, and I yeah. just have a, a, a word of caution for his managerial team. Before they started calling out any, you know, elite level fighters, I'm not sure I make cards elite anymore. But yeah. oh, no, where, no. where does he go? Is it, what reward is he going to get by fighting Khan? Is it a no win mm. situation? Mm. You get yeah, knocked yeah. out, people laugh because I make cards spent. Yeah, he, he beats I make cards. Everyone goes, well, he spent anyway. Yeah, he spent anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. So why would you push him down that route? If mm -hmm. if if he was to fight Khan, just imagine he was to fight Khan and lose. What would that do for his career? Where would he? What would happen? Oh. Damage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I oh, mean, it uh, would be his first defeat, so they could still build him back. But it's a humiliation that would have a massive impact on him. I I I think I think he should fight Avenician because I think if he loses to Avenician, you can say you know the guy was a, a world class. He won't. Though. He won't. Right? Yeah, I don't think so either. I don't think so. I, I think they're going to look to fight like, you know, like a Devin Alexander or someone like that. Again, who would have beat him in his prime, right? Let's be real. Mm -hmm. Alexander would have beat Conor Ben in his prime. Mm -hmm. But again, he's way, way past it. Or someone mm -hmm. like... Even, they won't even... I don't even think they'll fight someone like Lopez, you know? Josecito Lopez. That's a dangerous yeah. fight. Yeah, he is. He, he's about 38 though now, isn't he? No, but did you see him against Thurman? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but it, it that would be a good fight for him. These are the fights that you need. He's talking about people like Sean Porter, but Sean Porter's still dangerous. Yeah, but that's that's all not like he's not fighting Sean Porter, Ray. Let's be real, he's not gonna fight, he's not fighting Sean and, Porter. And no, I, what I said was they're talking about wanting to fight him. Oh, yeah, but yeah, do yeah, you think, in, you think in, they mean that? Do you think they well, mean that? they're talking about him as if he's as if he's you know, if he's got nothing left. Um, and that would be a good yardstick for him, but he's still a very, very dangerous fighter. For do you, do you think he would beat? Ask both of you. Ask both of you. Do you think he beats Jaron Ennis or Virgil Ortiz? No, no, no. <laughs> that was quick, and that's what but... I'm talking about. Where, what do you do with Conor Ben next? Where do you match make him? It's a difficult gig because obviously Eddie Earn likes a pound note. Yeah, so yeah, he's gonna want to keep that gravy train going for a bit, mm -hmm. but, but, but fans don't wear that anymore, do they? They want him in now, mm -hmm. you know, in a competitive fight. Well, the problem that Eddie Hearn's got as well, Carl, to answer your question, mm -hmm. is he's he's building Ben up to be his next pay per view star, so he's he's gonna have to put him in under that pressure with somebody Who who's then, gonna right? be a top top op opponent. Right. Um, who, who'd you go for then? It, it's it's going to have to be, see. My, my argument is, I've said uh, before, it would have to be in a, in a, one of those Americans like, you know, um, Lopez, somebody of that ilk, because you can't risk him against somebody like a Sean Porter. 
You definitely can't put them in with David Avinessian. No. You no. can't put them in with any of the matchroom boys at uh, 147, like Marco and, uh, you know, and, and bring Josh Kelly back for him at 147. You can't put them in with any, with any of those. What about Mickinson? No, no, no. I think he, I mean, <clears throat> I think Mickinson got a good win against Chris Congo. But um, I think that's pretty much where he, he's at. I don't think that's going to be a good enough name for somebody who's been gear Mark to be in the next period. Would he beat him star. though? That's the thing. Would he beat Mickinson? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it's a good fight. I think that I think he that guy is. I, exactly I think it, I think Mickinson's tricky. You know, I think Mickinson's yeah, tricky. He's got a tricky style, but I think Conor Ben can figure him out, and I think he gets through that on his physical strength alone. Kind of yeah, bend, he, physical yeah, strength yeah. and power alone. He's a good pressure fighter, isn't he, Ben? Yeah, yeah. See, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not fully convinced about Conor Ben. Yeah, I've said to you before, Ray, haven't I, on a Thursday night. Mm. I can, I'm concerned that that as, as as good as that last performance was, don't run before you can walk. That would be my worry. You know, um, they're gonna, he's still quite inexperienced, and, and they're gonna if they throw him in with someone who's got a lot of ring IQ, I worry for the lad. You know, is, is, it a, is it a bit of a crossroads is a, in terms of where he goes next? Just with Stanley, with Stanley good matchmaking. I mean, who would you put him in with, Carl? I've asked myself this a few times. I, I generally, Ray, don't know. Because if I was managing his career, you, you're looking at longevity, aren't you? Mm -hmm. you know? But mm -hmm. let's not. Let's not mess around. That O means quite a lot on the way up, doesn't it? You know, you can afford to lose it once you're at elite level. But if he was to take a, if he was to take a, a defeat now to, I don't know, it's only young that he can come again. But don't get me wrong, you lose that edge, don't you? In terms of, um, in terms of marketability, at the minute you're comparing him to his dad every five minutes, which is unfair as well. Mm -hmm. I would take it. I would. I'll get him in a European away day. I'll take him on a, on, on a European card and get him some experience against some different style of fighters. That's what I would do. Maybe get him a Russian somewhere who can prep him for Evanesian. Or, Evan or how, how about how about that guy from Spain that's been if if for everybody? Laranja. Sorry? Laranja. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. The one that beat Frankie Gavin and he, he just beat um, one of our welterweights. How about somebody like him? Yeah. Someone someone who's going to give him a different style to... Because uh, he's still only a baby in the ring, isn't it? Of course. Well, he, he is, really. So, is. you know, you need to expose him to all different types of fighters. Because Evan neeson has got a very Eastern European style about him, hasn't he? Um, but Evan Neeson does things in the ring that Conor Ben's never seen before. But That's my let, point. Let's, let, let's give... Let's give Conor Ben some little bit of credit. He's obviously a good learner because he's developing. Yeah. And this lockdown, I tell you what, he's he's one of my top three most improved fighters because he can tell he's just stuck in the gym, drilled his left hand on that heavy bag and just learn how to jab. So how far does he's, he go then, Ray? Um, it depends how they how they match him. I don't think naturally looking at him. He's, he's world level because he hasn't he hasn't got the he hasn't got the skills he hasn't got the footwork he naturally doesn't want to jab and he doesn't hit hard enough for his natural style he's not he's, he hasn't got his dad's punching ability so with those three key factors alone you can't really say he's, he's you can look at some lads and say he's naturally world champion he hasn't got those three key, key attributes um so is it, is it he's, he's gonna have to be he's gonna be have to manage really well I think he will end up getting a world title shot because of how he's managed, but that doesn't necessarily mean he's going to win no. one. No, it's too stacked. The division's too stacked. It's too good. Yeah. Quality, it's too yeah. good. There's too many young talents coming up, uh, like yeah. NH Ortiz, that are, in my opinion, going to rule, probably rule for a long time. And then there's uh, right now the current crop, unless they move up like Crawford, which I don't, I think Crawford will stay at 147. He's too, it's not that big, is he, Crawford, he, to move up to 154. Um, unless he, unless there's a weak champion after Jamel moves up, yeah, to or there's um, loads yeah. of money, yeah. Um, I can't see Crawford moving up, so that's one guy that's going to be champion for a very long time. Mm -hmm. And Spence, mate, Spence is going to move up, um, mm -hmm. 
Thurman and Porter and those guys look like they might stay around. I don't think they're physically... I, I don't think they're good enough to move up to 154 unless, like I said, the some of the 154 move up to 160. Uh, and to be honest, if they were going to move up weight, they would have moved up a long time ago. They've been at that weight for... I think their their body frame is perfect for 147. Um, Imran, just a couple yeah. of comments on the side. Yeah. Trace Mordon says that the padded careers. I'd like to know whether he means Conor Ben on that one or who he's talking about. And Trevor Pass, harsh. Oh, Silver Spoon, just like Atten's son, plenty of other better fighters don't get a chance. There's a fair point in there somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? yeah. Um, so, yeah. Untraceable Don, who do you mean? Who, who's got the padded careers, fella? <laughs> Who's that? Someone on the side, untraceable Don. Oh, yeah, he just, yeah, yeah. He, yeah, he just put padded careers. I'd like to know who he means. What What do you make of this comment? Subban, Subban Bake says, Imran, can't lie, bro. How are you favouring Canelo over all the light heavyweights? He would get destroyed by the monster Baterbiev. So I didn't... Hang on a minute. I didn't say that I favour him against all the light heavyweights. <laughs> I said... He did, I said, he did. I said, oh, I favour him against what all the light heavyweights apart from Baterbiev. Apart from Baterbiev, who I think is a 50-50. I think he, he could lose to Baterbiev. That's what I said. I think he beats Bivol. I'll be honest. He beats every light heavyweight apart from Baterbiev, which I, I wouldn't be sure about. That's what I said. I'm not sure about Baterbiev. That's why I'd like to say I, I think I think Baterbiev comfortably beats Canelo. That's why Canelo's not... You wouldn't hear Baterbiev's name coming out of... They're, they're talk no, no, but they're talking about it. Can Canelo's trainer has just said, we're moving up to fight Baterbiev. After we unify, we want Baterbiev. Eddie Reynoso said it. Just recently. Just in a yeah, but that, that, that's just like me. When I said about um, that comment with Conor Ben's team wanting Porter and saying that, and then you said, do you think that happens? Are you telling me you think Canelo actually steps in the yeah. ring with Baterbiev? Come on, we can't I, compare Conor Ben to... Like, Canelo's proven... Like, he's proven fighting the best. Come on. He's fighting... Yeah. Here's the thing, right? Canelo's yeah. fighting... Like, if Canelo beats Billy Joe Saunders, right, on the weekend, people are going to say, well, Americans are going to say, well, Billy was a bum. If he beats Andre, we're going to say, well, Andre had trouble with Liam. You know, he's never going to get the credit. Oh, the only well, way he gets, Canelo he gets a credit from me, he gets a credit from me, regardless of whether he fights Batavia or not. But I just don't see him fight Golovkin in him, his prime. Man, like everywhere, he, he picks them when they're, when they're on the decline. Yeah, I was just about he to just like He only had it's one fight when he like fought But Imran, when he fought Rocky Fielding, I mean, there was other super weird champs he could have fought. No, but look at look at what he's doing now then. He's fought in Billy Joe. Is that not a credible fight? Yes. It's super middle, yes. Yeah, right. yeah, because he's, he's, yeah, he's a he world champion. Him, I mean, if he, if he beats him, I don't. We'll, you'll give him credit, but there'll be many fans that say, "Oh, well, Billy Joe was a bum anyway. Who did he fight?" Do you agree? There'll be people that say that. So he's in a no-win situation. Billy he's Joe ain't win. no bum, is that? He's, that a two, he's, a two, that? he's a two-weight world champion, no, so I struggle no, with that one. This is what I'm saying, but th th this is what people say. Like he beat uh, what's his name, um, Callum Smith. Oh, Callum Smith was a bum. No, nah. like. Come, but this is that's, what I mean. That's casual win. fans, though. That's 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 casual fans. They're a lot of, hard, a lot of, of hardcore fans that let's, don't know. Let's, let's put it to this one. Does anyone in the side, <laughs> in the side comment box, think that Billy Joe or Callum Smith are bums? Put yes or no. If, yeah, if give your opinion. Yes, him yeah. and you better get him on camera. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I, just just on that point, though, I do think Batyev beats beats Canelo. Come to play at 70, 75. He won't he won't ever get in with him. But for that I reason, haven't... Carl, for that reason, he won't get in the ring with Baterbia because he knows what's coming. So we have another that, 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 that comment is right. That lad that made that comment right. Baterbia is a monster. He is. No, here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. If he beats Baterbia, just say Canelo beats Baterbia, yeah. right? Yeah. He'll, he'll he'll 37 or 38. They'll say, look how old he was. No, he'll no, no, like, no. There'll always be an excuse. There'll always be an excuse with Canelo. Imran, if if Canelo um, beats Baterbia, I yeah. will personally lead the, uh, the the chance, the, the group to rename Cinco de Mayo Canelo Day. I'll have it renamed. I tell you what, because it'll, if, it'll, it'll if go Canelo down beats Baterbiev, if Canelo beats Baterbiev, is his legacy greater than Floyd Mayweather? No, no, um, no. Wait, it's not a difficult one. No, I don't know because that would be that would be some feat. 
Wow, that see, would be some feet. Um, it'd be cool. Look, it, it, might be passive, it, would, it would be it'd be cause it'd be up there with any of Mayweather's best wins. Because May Mayweather's never been um uh, an, an underdog to beat a heavy favorite, has he? That's what you gotta no. think of. In terms of achievements, yeah, no. no, but in terms of wins, has you named me a better win that Mayweather's had. Just why I think about that, there's a great comment in the side. Yeah. <laughs> um, Be Benavidez, we've not even mentioned him. Now, yeah, I yeah, think yeah, he's yeah. A yeah. yeah, he's a good fighter. He's a good he's fighter. He's a good fighter. Good point. Yeah. But yeah. again, do you think do you think he beats Canelo? I think he takes him deep. I'm not sure I about think Canelo. Beat. Canelo beat him, and I think yeah, yeah. Do you like do you, do you boys like Ramirez as well? Yeah, yeah, he's a good player, Gilberto Ramirez. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, a light, he's a light heavy, though, ain't he? Yeah, 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 yeah. He's a light he's heavy. Still, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's see a lot of these guys. They've not got. They've not got the profiles. They've not got the names. Like Gilberto yeah, yeah. Ramirez deserves a bigger name. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm sure he's with Bob Arum in top rank, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, a lot of those fighters. A lot of their top rank fighters. Nobody. Uh, nobody's really. Nobody knows who do. I, that, that's been Crawford's argument for the past two years. You know, but you could say that about. The Americans, I always thought Deontay Wilder should have yeah. had a bigger name than what he should have had. He's he's big now, though, ain't he, Wilder? He's he's because that's because of Tyson Fury. You know, when, when yeah, he was yeah. WBC champion in run and he was knocking everybody out, he should have been a name on every American's lips. You should oh, yeah, walk yeah, in America yeah. and different speak down to there, Americans and say, Who's Deontay Wilder? And they go, I don't know. Who's big in America? Who's which fighter's big in America? Who's a, who's a Mike Tyson? Who's a Mike Tyson in America it's right not, now? I'm on about Americans here. I'm not on about like people who do try to nick like uh, you know. Go on, mate. No, no, that's what I mean. Who, which American big? Which American's big? Like, who's American that's fight? what I'm trying to say. I'm, Ray, I'm trying to Ray, who, who have they tried to nick, Ray? Finish your point. They, they've tried to they to nick a lot of fighters. Um, you know, they, they try to say. They're trying to say people like uh, uh like Lopez. Um that's a, that's a current one now. Is he trying not born is he not born born in America? Well he's born in Brooklyn, but then he fought for he fought for Honduras, didn't he? In the Olympics. Yeah, but that's a bit like Le Lennox then, isn't it? Yeah, but that's it's slightly different because Lennox is was actually probably British and stuff. Do you know what I mean? So he was he was born. No, but if you're saying he's born in Brooklyn, if you're saying he's born in Brooklyn, then He's American as well, but Lennox was born in UK, but he fought for Canada in the yeah, Olympics. Yeah, but the, the, Lennox, the Lennox one's slightly different because he's, he's he comes out and says, "Oh, he's yeah." He's but British. a lot of a lot of a lot of British fans don't consider Lennox. They say he's not British; he's Canadian, well, that's right? Outrageous! That's yeah, outrageous. That's, that's, that's no, I don't, I don't agree with all the British fans. That's but anyway, you, you, him, you get my point. You get my point about. You get my point about the Americans. I, I don't there's think quite, there's a. I don't know if he's in the live stream right now. Even though I don't agree with it, because he's obviously he's obviously born in London. He's born in West, West Ham, for God's sake. Yeah, but West Ham out of uh, uh, There's many. I, I've seen, listen. I've seen many comments in Facebook on uh, even in my stream. There's a guy fight game. I don't know if he's in there right now. <laughs> well, I hope he is. Anyone who wants to come on this live and tell me that Lennox Lewis is not English or British, let's do it. There you go, open off, but you don't mind him, man, do you? Yeah. Billy Joe, Billy, uh, so, so, it says here, Billy Joe is scared. Crawf, Billy nah. Joe is scared. Nah. Um, let's, let's, let's go through some of these comments. Okay. Um, let's see, let's see. Trevor, okay. Okay. Trevor Pass says, a body shot will end this fight in the sixth round. Canelo will land it. You'll Trevor see. Trevor knows his stuff, you know. I've been looking at Trevor's comments. Yeah. Top draw, Trevor is. In, yeah, you know I like Trevor. Trevor. I, said, I said it would end in the body shot. And uh, yeah, yeah. But Carl, you don't think it's end in six, is it? Say again. Not, not the six, think, but I think, I think a body shot will do it. Say again, I, think I, think body, I think a body you, shot will do it. You, you don't yeah, think I agree with No, no. Not in the six, but I do think a body shot will 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 be will be Canelo's key. I think he'll target a body because yeah, he's got I to think, stop I think so. Billy Joe Saunders moving. Yeah. He's got to stop I, Billy Joe I, Saunders I think moving. I think and how do you do that in man? You know yourself. It's a body shot. Yeah. You know what Canelo's gonna do? Canelo's gonna look to slow him down. Hurt him. He's gonna look to slow him down. Put water in the basement. Put water in the basement, right? Make him a static target. You know. And how do you do I that? Remember, body I, shots? I 
Yeah, yeah. Like, that's what I mean. He, he, he'll tell you what, in that body. It I mean. might be the, it might be the sit round when you've got a phone box to fight in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But for, if it's twenty two feet, that's. I, I think that's. I think they won twenty two four. I think Canelo should. What, what do you make of that, Ray? I don't know whether you you gave your opinion about that. What do yeah, you make of that? yeah. I, I didn't because I had loads of technical issues. But yeah, yeah, yeah. for me, Billy Billy Joe Saunders, the way he's he's mm. talking and he, he's built himself up. He he eighteen foot, twenty foot, twenty two foot shouldn't really matter. It's clear that he's trying to give a, his game plan. He wants to be on the back foot, so he wants a bigger ring as possible. Um, but even where, like I was saying before, it, it could be a 30 foot ring, it, it, it wouldn't matter. I don't think Canelo will give Billy Joe Saunders that amount of space for him to do his work. So Nobody he, cuts up, there's only one person in, in those weight categories that cuts off the ring as equally as well as Canelo, and that's Golovkin. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. he, I mean, he I, doesn't give you any space. These guys, I, yeah, Golovkin does it better. These guys yeah, yeah. win fights by a matter of inches. The footwork, these are the things that you're watching on TV, you don't see as well. But when you're watching live, it's there. It's there for you. They anticipate where you're going to go by the footwork, and they put that pressure on you. So when you move your feet, you think, "Oh no, he's there. I've got to move again." And this is what ties you out as a fighter. Uh, I, per personally, personally, I think it's going to be about around eight, nine. I think he's. I think he's going to be. I think he's going to be a lot more durable. Uh, oh, I, honey, I, man, you've been listening to my predictions, haven't you, from Thursday? You've been playing my video back. I've been saying this. I've been have saying this. Have your own thoughts, in, man. Have your own thoughts. Come on. I've been saying this for. Uh, like, I remember. Oh, me and you've Ray been saying this since. Thursday. That's what you've been saying this since. I've been saying. I've been saying it for time that Canelo. That there's. Uh, there's a lot of people that think it's going to go the distance. I don't no. think it's going to go the distance. No, no. Some, no most no, people think me. that Canelo can't. Canelo is not going to stop. Uh, I was arguing with one guy. He was saying Canelo don't stop any top fighters. He only stops uh, washed up guys or smaller guys. He don't stop any legitimate fighters. I said, okay, on we'll see on we'll see on Saturday. We'll see yeah, on yeah. Saturday morning if he stops legitimate fighters or not. Yeah, yeah. He stops he stops Billy Joe Saunders, and um, it doesn't matter on the size of the ring because Canelo is not going to give you any sort of room to to move off and do do your footwork. Carl, let me let me put this to you. I had one guy on Facebook say to me. I guarantee you, because I was saying Canelo, obviously, you know, I'm picking Canelo. He said, I guarantee you Canelo will struggle to land a punch on Billy Joe Saunders. He won't get near him. He goes, he won't get, he goes, Billy is something. He goes, his boxing IQ is like Mensa. I don't know what he meant by that. Uh, he goes, Canelo, Canelo's boxing IQ doesn't come close to Billy Joe's boxing IQ. What I would say, though, they're not taking confidence from the David Lemieux fight because <laughs> comparing David Lemieux to Canelo is like comparing my predictions to your name, man. <laughs> you know, so, um, I, would now, say, I would say comparing David Lemieux to Canelo is like comparing a lion to a puppy. Yeah, yeah, yeah pretty yeah, much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I, yeah. I, I like the first analogy better, but we'll go with your one as well. <laughs> so um, what I'll say is, I think early doors will be like a chess match early doors, won't it? You know, it'll be a lot of movement from Billy Joe, but... Once them body shots start to land on, on Billy, I'm not sure he'd have felt power like that before. Mm. And um, to use your saying, you know, about the water and all that, hit the body, don't move. It, keep it in the body and it'll slow Billy down. And then I think round 10, I agree with Adam, um, round 10, um, Canelo will stop him. Yeah. Do you think it'll be a brutal knockout? Do you think it would just be like no. a stop on to you? No, I think it'd just be a, the accumulation of punishment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think the ref will jump him. Wow, okay. it's not it, it's not really a concussive punch, of Canelo, is it? Or not what no, we've seen. He's explosive. Anyway. He's explosive. Yeah. yeah, he's he's got a good bit of power. He's got a good bit of power. Let's let's not uh, minimize that, you know. But I think it'll be the accumulation. I think Billy Joe's a he's a hard lad. I think he yeah. can take a lot of shots. Has he him. has his chin really been tested against someone like that though? Like against Canelo? I haven't really no, seen. He's, 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 he's never had his chin there to be. He's never been there no. to be hit. But that's what I mean. If Canelo Canelo nails him with a right hand or even a hard vicious body shot, I don't. I, I, I'm this is this is why it's intriguing because I don't. I don't know. I don't really know. We can't really judge on on what we've seen so far because we haven't really seen him. I've seen him wobbled against a Sufi, but we can't really go off that. You know, we could have been off balance. Or uh, what I mean is, I think Canelo, well, if he hit flush. 
is Billy Joe going to be able to, like, for example, if Canelo was to hit someone like Carl Froch, you know Carl Froch is going to suck it up, right? But if Canelo hits Billy Joe, is Billy Joe going to be able to take it? By the way, Carl Froch is giving Billy Joe no chance, by the way. Carl Froch would have beat Canelo. Carl Froch hey? would have beat Carl Froch would have beat Canelo just for the record. No, no, I no, he wouldn't. Oh, he would. No, he wouldn't. No, he wouldn't. He would. no, he wouldn't. No, he wouldn't. too big. No. I, I don't think I don't think um I I, I even do what he did against Butte. There we go, I'll put it out there. And a jump tall. No, 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 I way. think I mean Bo Bo it was a Bo it was a bit of a sitting duck. I think Canelo jumped say... all over him and broke him up. No, no. I'm I not biased. I, I don't see it. Do you think? Do you think Carl Fro like if Carl Froch fought Kovalev in his prime? Do you think Carl Froch would have beat him? Ooh, it would have been a good scrap, wouldn't it? I, I, I think yeah, I think probably he would have done. What you mean, what, Kovalev's prime, prime or Froch's prime? prime. No, no, in both of their prime, you put them prime for prime. Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah. I don't think so. I'll tell you why. Yeah, because, I would see, I would um, go for Froch in that fight. I'll tell you why, because um, it would have come on to Froch, wouldn't it? it would have, that would have been a total. What team. you got to remember is Kessler, Kessler had a very Kessler. similar style to Kovalev. Yeah, great job, great backhand. So. Beat him in that's the rematch. Why, though, yeah, know. but that was Tesla way past his prime and inactive for one and a half years. Let, 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 let me put another argument your way then. The Ash Cloud had come down when he went out to cut out to Denmark, so so his preparations were all disrupted. There you go. That's one all then. If you're going to throw that one at me for the rematch, no, yeah. but it was. It's true. Kessler was 37 and he was inactive at the time. Kessler was Kessler never fought again after that. Good shot to the number on him. Went 12 rounds in a tough fight. I wouldn't he say about, that was a quality fight, though. I mean, that was terrible. Yeah, 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 yeah. because he because he, he, he was, beat yeah. Tesla, who had a, a very similar style to, to what, what Kovalev has at the time. Um, when Kessler was at his sort of pump, no one had a better one too than Kessler. Yeah, Kessler was a Kessler was a good, he was he's, a good uh, Kessler. His one two uh, at that time was well, we all saw what Andre Ward did to both of them, right. Took him to school. Let's be let's yeah, be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He did, yeah, no, no one's gonna dispute that. Yeah, and Richard, um, Brown, Richard Brown reckons Kalzagi beats them all. Um Kalzagi beats um uh yeah, I, I would yeah, say yeah, uh, I agree with Richard think, Brown. I agree with him. He didn't beat yeah. Hopkins though, Brown. He got gifted that decision just to put it out there. Do you reckon? Do you reckon? Yeah, he got, no, he got no, beat, he beat, he got he beat, beat that night. No, no, that no, he got close. beat. That was close, that was close. He got beat anyway. Moving on. He got beat. Kalzagi beats um, Kovalev, do you reckon? Yeah. Yeah. You think Kalzagi beats Canelo? That's a tough. Th this is what I that's, mean. The fact that we have to one, think that about that's it. A, that's a hard one. But you know that's what? The fact definitely beat... Go on, sorry. You know the fact that we have to think about if Kalzagi beats Canelo, bearing in mind Canelo's like come from 154, that just shows how great Canelo really is right the fact that we're having to think about it i mean him man what i would say about kels i get is he slaps so what makes him think that Can canelo wouldn't get to him eventually do you, you think canelo beats him kels I'm, not, I'm not saying he beats him but i'm saying he gets to him can you know kels Aggie slapped a lot didn't he? yeah he, no no but if you had to pick who would you pick i think kels Aggie out points him like split this exactly what would happen. That's exactly what would happen. Yeah, is, is it, that would be a great fight. That would be 50-50. I, I, I look at that as like 50-50. Do you, do you think Kalzagi would have beaten a, a younger Hopkins or a Roy Jones? Uh, MMA boxing, that's a, a ridiculous comment. Kalzagi played, Kalzagi played with Roy Jones Jr. <laughs> when he if fought he, him, he was way past it, wasn't he? If you would have caught Roy Jones yeah, Roy Jones would have beat Kalzagi in his prime. Yeah, Roy, Roy Jones was special in his prime, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, he was, he was. Yeah, he was. Yeah. yeah. But I, I think this is a good one by Adam. He's saying that Canelo is um, pound for pound number one. Obviously, when he when he beats Billy Joe Saunders, you, you've got to cement that, I would say. Look at this comment here. Look at this comment here. I, I disagree. <laughs> I strongly, maybe, strongly disagree. Maybe 10 years ago. Not now. Yeah. 
I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't think Kel Brook, I don't think Kel Brook would struggle to make it past like a couple of rounds in that fight. I think you Wait, bank. There's not much love in your chat for Mr. Frotch. Outrageous, outrageous. Yeah, people. Like, a lot of people. You know, Frotch. Did you see his interview yesterday? I'm not yet. No. Did you see? Did you see how he? Um, you, you know, him and him and Amir Khan don't get on, right? Yeah, yeah. they hate each other. Yeah. Basically, uh, basically, um, in that video. Because I think Amir Khan recently in a BT uh, interview, they were asking him about Kauzagi and Frotch. And Amir said, oh, I don't rate Frotch. You know, he's overrated and he had a hype. He was a hype job. He got give give to his career. Obviously, he was just having a dig at Frotch. Then yesterday, Frotch in an interview said when, about Billy. And he goes, Billy's got no chance against Canelo. Um, but he goes, I don't think he'll get knocked out like Amir was. Like, you know, Amir Khan, like on the floor like that. You know, like he was literally trying to take the mick. Like, you could clearly see he was trying to... Uh, have a have a go. I've always found that a bit strange. With like, I, I don't know why Frotch dislikes him. To be honest, it goes back to the days when um, Carl Frotch made a comment on Amir Khan's chin, and obviously we all know Carl Frotch had said, a no, wonderful chin. And you know, no, it wasn't even that. It was the fact that when Amir lost to Bradis Prescott back in the day, Carl Frotch said he won't have a career. He said he'll never become world champion. That's what I'm saying. He'll never do because he, and he, I remember, he basically I remember, said because he never, he never had it. He never had a chin. Yeah. Loads of people said it when he got knocked out. They said you can't put muscles on his chin. He won't go after, anywhere. No, but the thing is, I remember an interview that Carl Frotch did with Be Real TV. I remember because I remember the guy, the guy, the guy, the guy was on YouTube, and I remember him interviewing Carl Frotch, and he was actually an Amir Khan fan, and. Um, he interviewed him and uh, Amir at that time had a ch become a unified champion and obviously beaten a, a lot of fighters by that point. And he said, you know, you got guys like Audley Harrison that come from the Olympics. And then he mentioned Amir that look, look at what they've, they've failed. They've, ha they've not had a pro career. And the interview was like, are you telling me that Amir Khan's not had a pro career? Like, are you, are you being real? Because he was basically saying that just because you win an Olympic medal don't mean you're going to have a successful pro career. And I was like, that comment that surely Frotch can't be serious by saying that a guy that unified the division didn't have a boxing career, like or a pro career. So I, I don't know. There's been some serious beef, like some serious hatred. I don't know. I don't know what the issue is. I don't. I don't know what the. It must be. It must be something deep rooted that we obviously. I, you know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, Amir, uh, Amir, and him don't get on, man. They, they definitely no. don't get yeah. on. Um, yeah. It's definitely not. So, it's definitely. Um, not a great relationship, and even apparently it's all over. Not, it's apparently it's all over Twitter that they can, um, Canelo Billy Joe Saunders fights off, but until Eddie Hearn comes out I, and says it, I don't. It's so let's just, let's just say it is off, then, guys. Where did they both go next? Well, Canelo's got can go to get the IBF belt off uh, Caleb Plant, can't he? So I don't think Canelo's too fussed. What about Billy Joe? Difficult. Well, you it's a big one, and you know when I was offline. Iman said a good point about, you know, the majority of the fans turning against him. I don't think the fans are going to buy this. If it comes down to the ring size oh, that, no, that no. the fight's off, I don't think they'll buy this one. I think Billy Joe's got a hard route back. Especially after the Andre, especially after especially after the Andre situation. Not just that, he's his, his opponents because he's, he's, a, oh, he's yeah, lucky yeah, yeah. to get this position anyway. This is another thing I'm saying about Billy Joe. He's not for anyone to say he's knocking on the door for a Canelo fight. He's, been, he's, he's lucky he's got this opportunity. Yes, he's a two-weight world champion, but two-weight world champion again too. Yeah, against um, Andy Lee and uh, Shifa Asufi. That's who we. That's that's who we. That's who we. No, but it's real. That's who we want his belt. Yeah, for, I, know, right? I, know, I know. I'm saying. I'm saying he, he's not for me. Where does he go next? So I've answered it for Canelo, for Billy Joe Saunders. He needs to. He needs to start chasing people like Charlo. Uh, to be honest, to be honest, why would you want to fight Charlo in a fight where that's a fight where you could lose for probably a quarter of the money? Well, that's right? that's what he needs to do. He needs he needs to fight the names. He said after at the end of um, the Martin Murray fight for his interview, he wants the big names. So if he's not getting that, we know Golovkin's tied up. So he needs to change chase the big names at middleweight. So, I mean, he can still make middleweight. Jose Jose Sanchez says what he's he made a good point here. He said that that as long as Billy Joe has a belt, he'll have some control. Uh, but does he though? He's even had a belt for quite a while. He's not managed to get any big fights. So does he? Would that make a difference if he has a belt? Will people care? 
I think he's had his eyes on uh, Canelo for so long that he's been pushing fights to the side to make sure he's ready for this fight. Hmm. So if this fight is is no longer happening, like it's being reported, I'm I'm honestly stuck where he goes next. He must have, he's going to have a mandatory inter, I'd imagine. But I think elite, and, and also there's a big question mark over Matchroom. Is he going to stay with Matchroom after all well, the shenanigans? Well, no, because he, he, I think he's that aggrieved by Eddie Hearn. I'd he agree. Sees it. You think he stays with him? No. No, 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 I don't. Do you really think Eddie Hearn wants that hassle, though, after that? Like, do you really think he'd want to work with Billy Joe? If, especially if he fights Canelo and loses, he's not going to want to know. The only way he's going to want to know is if can, if Billy Joe wins. If he loses, yeah. And Billy, do you really think Eddie Hearn's going to want that stress? It's quite interesting that Frank Warren's gone public tonight and to saying, Billy, I just want you to beat him. So it's quite interesting that Frank Warren's yeah, yeah, changed yeah. his time to go public. Yeah, no, Tyson. I let you join the dots up. You know, Tyson. Tyson mm -hmm. is Billy and him are like close, right? Yeah, and yeah. Um, he's with Frank Warren. So obviously, I know he's with uh, ESPN and Top Rank and stuff, but he's also with Frank Warren here <coughs> in the UK. So I think, to be honest with you, I think he only went with her because the opportunities were there. I think Eddie could deliver him the opportunities that maybe Frank Warren couldn't. So I think it was the right move, and I still think it would be the right move for him to stay with her. But the problem is, the problem is, I think he thinks right that Eddie Hearn's like Eddie Hearn's favoring Canelo. But if you're a, put yourself in Eddie Hearn's shoes, right? You're a businessman, right? You've got the biggest star in world boxing, and then you have got Billy Joe Saunders. Like it's hard, it's hard, it's hard for you. Eddie's thinking about legacy. He's thinking about his his career as a promoter. And unfortunately, having Canelo under your banner over Billy Joe. He's going to do a lot more for his legacy, so to speak. So, as a promoter, because Canelo's going to be involved in bigger fights, bigger nights. He's going to do more iconic things, right? Unless Billy Joe beats him. Unless Billy can beat him, right? He, he's delivered you the opportunity. He's delivered you the opportunity. At the end of the day, if I deliver you an opportunity, it's your, you, you're going inside that ring. Billy Joe could knock Canelo out. He's, it's in his own hands. It's not in anyone else's hands. We're here giving our opinions, but at the end of the day, Billy Joe's going inside that boxing ring, right? And he can knock Canelo out. I know we don't think so, but he can, right? He can go inside that boxing ring and knock Canelo out. It's in his own hands, right? Hands delivered him that opportunity, don't yeah, you? Yeah. Yep. Want to make any points on that, guys? Well, I, I tend to agree with what he's saying. Earn don't get in the fight, in the ring and fight for you, does it? You know, no. he just opens the doors. <laughs> so, um, to be fair, Billy Joe's talked about this fight for a lot, a lot of years. Well, now it's time to put up and shut up. Well, that's that's why he's just got to get on with it and not not yep. be too bothered about the ring size. So, boys, what would you do, right? If Eddie Hearn, Eddie Hearn now says that. Um, you know, it comes to a point where, you know what, Canelo's not budging. It's 24 or nothing, right? Mm -hmm. What do you do? Take it. Take the fight. Take the fight. Take the fight. You, you've got you've got, you've got, got to believe in yourself. You've been wanting this fight for years. You've been going on about fighting Canelo and Golovkin. Here's a big opportunity. It's in America. You're headlining a bill. 70,000 fans. Go out there and do your community proud. Is it damaging for Canelo as it is for Billy Joe if this fight doesn't take place? It really is. Mm -hmm. Because as much as you're saying Billy Joe or or we're saying Billy Joe, Billy Joe should be jumping in, you could argue the same for Canelo. Look, yeah. Canelo, you know, yeah. you, you talk about being the pound for pound king and legacy. Jump in then. It's only two foot. Jump in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. I agree with that as well. I, I do mm -hmm. agree with that. It's only is only two foot. And I don't think any of us think that would make much of a difference, really. No. Not for somebody is. So skill is what. Do you be changing your prediction, boys? If if it's another two foot bigger, no. <laughs> yeah, we'll come. That's what I'm saying. They could fight in a in a ring the size of the Atlantic Ocean. It ain't going to make no difference. He's going to catch up with them. It's He's not going to give him that. It's almost a battle of wills now, isn't it? It's this two foot, you know. It's almost we're not budging, and we're not budging. So it's almost a battle of wills now. I'd be interested to see how it plays out. Yeah, I, I, I hope I hope it happens though, because I'm really looking forward to this fight. It would be a kick in. It would be a kick, especially with all the Fury Joshua 
crap that's going on, right? It would be a kick in the stomach if this fight falls through, right? As a as a hardcore boxing fan, it'd be yeah, it'd be yeah. I would agree. I would agree with that because it's like it's another big fight that's just slipped through our fingers, and the only people suffering apart from the two fighters are the fans. Yeah, and over a ring size, come on. Yeah, but just just I, I can see a few comments. Neither of these fighters are scared. No, Neither of these no. fighters are scared. You know, nah. and I've just seen another one um, by uh, is it Subhan Big yeah. um, said something like he, he doesn't think Canelo's that good. He's he's lost two or three fights in in his opinion. Um, so I want to see what which, which two or three fights they were. I know a lot of people saying that he Golovkin. lost to Lara, Lara um, and Golovkin. Yeah, and Golovkin, but not too sure. I thought he lost the first Golovkin fight, but he won the second one for me. Yeah. and I thought he beat Lara as well. So you thought he lost to Lara. No, I thought he beat Laura. Yeah, I thought he beat Laura. Yeah. So I thought yeah. he lost the first Golovkin fight and I thought he won the second Golovkin fight and I thought the, he beat Laura. The, the, the funny thing with the second one is he stayed in the pocket. Exactly. And everyone thought he, would, he stayed in the pocket. He beat Bill Golovkin his own game. So I give him tremendous props for that second fight. He had all that fight, didn't he? Hardly he had huge cojones. It's hardly a shame, though, Carl losing to Golovkin, though, is it? No. 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 But no. to add, but to add to glove, uh, and to to add do glove king in the pocket is some going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not many people can say that out for Golovkin at his own game. You know, he was yeah. always waving him in, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. He was. He was. He was doing that. You know. Yeah, yeah. I think Golovkin was shocked almost. Yeah, that someone's actually yeah of course he was. Of course he you was. Uh, he wasn't expecting. He he wasn't expecting Canelo to come at him because he was talking about all that Mexican style before the fight. Let's have it. Let's have it. And then mm -hmm. uh, Canelo, mm -hmm. to be honest, Canelo was too good to his word. His trainer, uh, Abel Sanchez, was saying, oh, you know, make sure you don't run. Make sure you don't run. Right. Well, he didn't run in the second fight. He didn't. No. So, so Trevor passed. Trevor Pass says, look what's happening in when Douglas fought, Ty Douglas Tyson fought in a bigger ring. Nah, I don't agree. Tyson had loads of... We all know what Tyson was going through in that fight in Japan. I think it was those issues. I think if Tyson never had those issues, nobody would know who Buster Douglas is now. Obviously, he's a real hardcore, but he would just be another one of Tyson's victims. I've never seen no one take so long to be a gum shield up, and I'll leave that one there. What you mean? You mean, um, the dog was, but yeah, yeah, come on, come on. You know, it took him a while to get a gum shield in the glove, didn't it, and get it back in his gob. Yeah. Allegedly, okay. So, Michael Hunter says he can beat Tyson Fury when he Michael Hunter's gonna get nowhere near Tyson Fury, <laughs> <laughs> he'll, ne he'll never fight to be honest. Michael but, Hunter uh, says he can beat Tyson Fury when he drew with the old man Povetkin. No, nah, but they, they were sparring, Reese. They were sparring. They had a picture up. They were sparring, yeah. I think. Yeah. Um, no, nah, nah, he's too small. He's too small. He's too small. He's, he's not, he's not, uh, he's not, um, he's not a big, big enough heavyweight to compete with like Joshua or, 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 no. um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Fury. Too big. They're too big. To be honest with you, boys, how do you think Wilder Joshua would go if that fight was to happen? Joshua, just, just, but I think I would favor, I would favor I've Joshua. I've always favored Wilder, you know. I'm all for some reason. I'm, I'm, leaning, always... I'm leaning towards Wilder. Yeah, I think I can catch him. <laughs> yeah, I, I've always. It'd be, it'd, be a, it'd be a good fight, but I think Joshua would get it. I don't. I wouldn't put any money on it. I won't. I won't be sure. But it could go either way. It could go either way. I just think. I just it think that we, we, we. I just it, yeah. It would. It would be. But I think Joshua's got enough about him. At least he's showing a plan A and a plan B where Wilder hasn't. And Wilder, when you're putting on him, he, we talk about Joshua panicking. Let me play. Let me play, De let me play devil's advocate then, Raymondo. Tyson Fury is the only one to really school. Wilder, Joshua's mm. got nowhere near the boxing ability of Tyson Fury. Well, the, okay, I know where you're going with that one, but what I would say is I don't think Fury sort of like schooled him as in put on a well, he did in the first fight, in the second fight, he physically bullied him. And I think Joshua could do 
the second fight as opposed to the first fight. He wouldn't Joshua is nowhere near a lose as elusive in Tyson Fury. I'd though, agree. He's not. I'd agree. He's just as physically strong. I just yeah, think he... I think Joshua. Sorry, I think Joshua gets caught on the way out. Yeah, I think when, he, he, when he's out. boxing him, yeah, that's why I don't think he would. That's why I said I don't think we'd really box him like he did in, in like uh, Fury did in the in the first fight. I think he would just use his brute strength. I think that's. I think that would be a great fight. That would be a 50 oh, it, it would be. It would be an absolute classic. That's a 50-50. Um, that's a great... That's what I mean. I think he would try and bully him because he, 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 he can't box, Joshua. He's proved that he can box. But I think it's probably too dangerous against somebody like Wilder who could just time that right hand. I mean, once Wilder hits you, anyone, you're going. You don't care who you are. Richard Brown says, what's your, what's your options, George versus Usyk? Hopefully it gets made. Do you think Joyce can win? I think he can win, but I don't think he will. I think I think Usyk beats him. Do you? Yeah, I think I think I know people keep talking about uh, Usyk being too small, or um, Joyce uh, Joyce will walk through him somehow. I don't think so. I think he'll outbox him. I don't. I, I think, think Joyce is a big big problem for Usyk. Too big. That too job. Big. That He's job is um, yeah, and then I think he'll even I think he'll even not use the cat. No, I think it'll be points. I think I would, I would go for choice on points. I, I would favor Usyk. I, I think Usyk. I think Usyk is being overlooked. I think until he has that big win at heavyweight, like a Joyce, like somebody like that, I don't think he's going to be accepted. You see where I'm coming from? I think he needs to prove himself against a Joyce. Or someone of that level, then we'll be like, all right, okay, he's a problem. I, I think, and I think he will. I think he will. I think he, I think he's a great fighter. I think he's. Um, I, I want to see him fight one of the top heavyweights. I think he can be. I think Usyk was a great, great cruiserweight, but it's a different ball game stepping up the heavyweight. Let let let's see. I I, I'm not one. I'm not one to write him off. Like I think we should give him. I think we should give him um, the opportunity. Because he, yeah. he hasn't been beat yet. He hasn't been beat at heavyweight or no one's beat him. And to be honest, he did a better job on Chisora than Parker did. And by the way, what did you make of that fight? We didn't talk about it. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I tipped Chisora to win. Yeah, but I for did. me, I Parker did. won by at least, by, by say, two, three rounds. Well, Carl, did he win that, though? Did he win that? Don't, don't, <laughs> don't, 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 don't ask silly questions if you don't want silly answers. No, but do you genuinely think he won that? Yes. I, I, I think it was I close. Think, I think it was close. I think close. he took over from round three. I think he took over. He can't be gassing like Del Boy was gassing. I expect to pick rounds up. Are you having a laugh? I think... Park, I, think Park, Parker, I mean, Carl like, will tell you I picked Chisora all day long, but Parker won by two, three rounds on my scorecard. Who did it I wasn't pick? Rob. Wait, who did I pick? Who did I pick? That uh, that comment by um, <laughs> Derek Rob Chisora. Yeah, obviously you went for Park, but that comment by MMA boxing Derek Rob Chisora. He wasn't robbed in that fight. No, it wasn't um, robbed, but it, it was a close fight. It was a close fight. Two, three rounds. Come on. Nah, I don't, nah. I, I just think Guys, Parker won it think? on the back foot. He won it on the back foot. Guys, what do you think in the comment section, Chisora Parker? Do you think it? Mm. Do you think it was? Um, how 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 wide do you think it was? Do you think it was close? How did, did you score it, Imran? Hey, how did you I score it? Honestly, I didn't I didn't score the fight, so I didn't score it round for round, and I haven't gone yeah. back and watched it. Um, okay. But I had Parker by one round. Yeah, that's more like that's more like it. Like if you had some had Chisora winning, some had Parker winning. It was close. It was close. It was close. I don't think it was close. I think Hearn had I mean, Parker. I mean, Hearn had Chisora winning. Didn't draw. Michael White says draw. No. No. It was close. I thought it was close. I I, no. I I didn't really go back and watch it. Maybe if I go back and watch it and score it, it might be different. But who cares? Both are journeymen at this stage. Boring fight. <laughs> <laughs> Enzo the Savage. S stands for Savage. Oh. It was. It was. It wasn't a. It wasn't a. <laughs> It, Parker, to be honest, Parker for me, as I said, he doesn't impress me, and, he, and that's not changed. Does I would he agree with that comment. Chisora shown all the aggression, but effective shots from Parker. But Parker yeah. needs more output for the future. Yeah, 
I think that fairly sums up the fight. Mm. Uh, Chis what do you think? Chis where do you think Chisora goes now? Retires. Yeah, well, where where you know there's nowhere else for him to go. But he ain't gonna retire. He wants a rematch with Porto and what none of that with. No, so for me, he, he has to retire. He's made the money in run. He's he's, he's got a, he's made a lot of money for boxer yeah, for someone yeah. who's not been a world champion. He he's, just. I I personally I personally think that I I. I, I personally think that he's... I think I don't know whether the Parker rematch will happen. No. But I, 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 think, I, think, he'll get, I think he'll get another big fight. I won't be surprised. What about him against Ruiz? Why would Ruiz want to jump in with him? Well, he jumped in with Ariola as a, as a tune-up fight, right? Yeah, yeah. Paid, yeah. That was a tune-up fight. So he wouldn't want to fight Chisora after that. I think he... But Who would he want to fight, though? Who, who, if he can't get the Wilder fight and the big fights, who, who would you? I think, I think I tell you what. Are you on about Chisora still? Or yeah, about Ruiz. Chisora. Yeah, I think for me, Andy Ruiz probably needs to wait until um, AJ and Fury, uh, Fury have fought, and then when those belts become vacant again Man. or other mandatories, then because nobody's going to give Andy Ruiz a, a chance on it. Because he's going to be Del Boy fights next, but. Chis well, I don't want to see Chisora in another fight. I'll tell you, he should fight next. Wardley to get that hype job out of boxing. Wardley, Fabio Wardley. Yeah, put them two in. Nah, nah, I don't know him to nah, see that. Not, he's not going no, to gonna... see that. I mean, Fabio Wardley's going to get exposed somewhere down the lane anyway. Um, I've just seen somebody say they like Danny Fisher. I think they mean Johnny Fisher, that, the heavyweight from, from Romford. He's another one. These heavyweights that are coming, there's some that are coming through which are decent, like Joyce. Um, but I think somebody like Daniel Dubois would do a massive yeah. job on somebody like uh, Wardley or, you know, um, yeah. Because um, Dubois is rebuilding, isn't he? Okay, Enzo Gorman. S says that Gorman should fight Wardley next. Gorman. That's a good fight. Yeah. Yeah. Chisora is the Masvidal of boxing, fooling people into a big pay-per-view fight. Both have double-digit losses, yet headline pay events. Is he from MMA or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Masvidal. Right. Yeah. I don't watch MMA, he's so... Big, he's a big... You, you never heard of Masvidal? I, I'm a, not an he, MMA fan, mate. Oh, you're not... You're yeah, not into, I've watched a few of it, a bit of him, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you got, he, got, he got knocked out brutally, didn't he, against... Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, it's a good, it's, to be fair, it's a good comparison, to be fair. Very yeah, good comparison. Yeah. Um... Carl, this is for you. Fabio Wardley is not a fraud. Fabio, Fabio Wardley is a fraud, sorry, not a boxer. Yeah, I would agree. Look at him when he fought Molina. Um, look how arrogant he was behaving and he got clipped and then he thought, oh, I better put it on him now. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't know. We have to we have to wait and see. Let's see him against someone else. Uh, fraud's a bit strong. I wouldn't want to call No, I don't think he's good. I, th I, th I think we need a nightmare. To... Yeah, but lads, I'm, I'm gonna have to leave here because it's yeah, uh, yeah. it's coming up late. So, but thanks very much for having us on, him, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let the uh, I'll let I'll let Carl, uh, Carl can Carl can do it. Let the viewers know about your uh, show on Thursday. Yeah, yeah. 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 So last bell boxing, Ooh, it's on Thursday nine o'clock. We've got our we've got our YouTube channel, so people on the chat go on, come on, chat about boxing. Uh, myself and Carl are on. There's a couple of other lads on there as well. So Inman's been on as well. Um, so yeah, uh, come on in and have a chat Thursday at nine o'clock. Every Thursday. Uh, uh, Thursday, nine o'clock. Also, yeah. guys, they you uh, um they give the opportunity anyone that wants to go on to camera, yeah, uh can go on to go on to their live stream and actually uh yeah, just have uh, Tell him about that, about the about the fact that you know the fans can go on and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So, so you know, as Carla mentioned, the fans can come on. So, people in our live chat, they could come on the screen and have a debate, like the three of us are having now. Um, you know, so we'll be covering, be be previewing the the Saunas, Billy Joe fight and other fights. So, you know, every Thursday at nine o'clock, you know, give give us a give us a shout and come on and get on board. And we also do spin-off shows as well. So we have people like yeah. Carl Greaves. Or we've got a couple of big people coming on over the next couple of weeks. That's right, yeah. So it's Last do... Bell Boxing. So, like I say, give it... fans on YouTube, guys. Um, Imran often comes on. It's a good platform, Imran. I'm sure you'll agree. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good. Very. Good. They have like you have they have like four. There's four, four like normally four people on. At yeah, this, like, four of us. Yeah. There's Ray, yeah. Carl, uh, Andy, right? Yeah, yeah. in there, David, and, and then a guest, right? We also have yeah. Transatlantic guests. We have um, Mike from Canada, and uh, we yeah. have Sylvia who comes on from Central America. So all I'd say, guys, if you think you know your boxing, you've got an opinion, jump on. on. Yeah. All right, then, guys. Enjoy the rest of the evening. See you later. Hey, man. Yeah, I'm going to shoot care. as well, hey, man. Thank yeah, you, yeah, yeah. Mike. Take care. Take care, guys. Yeah, Take care. And I'll, I'll see you. I'll see you. I'll speak to you guys soon. No bother. Cheers. All right, guys. Can you hear me now? Sounds like you're underwater. What about now? What about now, guys? Can you hear me? Guys, you there? Can you can you hear me now? Yes. All right. Okay, that's great news. All right. Okay. So. Okay. Can you hear me now? What about now? What? It's still on the I 
No, you can't hear me. Okay, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it a day then, and I'll we'll see you. Uh, I'll see you in I'll see you in the next live stream or in the next video. It's better when you close to the cam. Okay, can you? So it shouldn't be like that though. Too big to cancel. All right, guys, I'll, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. Uh, we'll we'll do this tomorrow. Um, I'll do it again tomorrow. You can't hear me. You you can you can't hear me. You can't hear me, guys. Can you not hear me? Because it should. Oh, I can't do it. 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 I can't do it.